welcome. I don't know what happened to the, the intro. There was a, you know how sometimes it, it doesn't play the intro correct. Oh, it's a dark screen. Correct. I don't know. Something was going on. <laughs> you gotta restart the phone, babe. I did. <laughs> no, I know. I, I know. did. How's, every, I was how's everybody doing? Happy Tuesday. We are here. Uh, surprise live stream. It's a, it's a little it's a little date night. A little bit. A little date night from uh, Chris and I. Usually we would we would just be here by ourselves having a little Disney day. Uh, but we've decided we're going to share it with you guys today. We hope your week is going well so far. It is chilly. Uh, no rain in the forecast today, but I'll tell you, if, if I was uh, walking down Main Street and you could see past the castle, it is dark. The clouds are super dark. It looks, yeah. It's probably snowing, right, in the mountains right Maybe now? Maybe in the mountains. I don't think it's going to rain tonight, but it certainly didn't look like it. We were driving over here. We were uh, kind of surprised to see all the dark clouds. Yeah. But it is going to be chilly once. It's tonight. going to be cold. It's going to be cold. So, but so, I'd rather have cold than hot. Yes. We're going to do a little park hopping later on, too? Yep. We got some food on order. Uh, Chris has to pick up his magic key and magnet. Empanada. And he wants to pick up an empanada. <laughs> Uh, but I want to show him the movie night area where for Magic Key holders. Uh, yes. If I was here on yesterday, um, and if you follow us on Instagram, you'll know that I I covered it also. Just so you know, follow us on Instagram. If I'm here on Monday after the live stream, uh, doing some things over at DCA, or maybe even some extra things here in the park, I will cover it over on Instagram. I covered the new turnstiles that are being installed. I covered some of the characters over at movie night for Magic Key holders, the magnet. I covered all that. And I also covered, for those of you who were looking for the Dooney and Burke ears that sold out online and sold out here in the park, they restocked. So yes, I, don't, I don't know if they restocked here at Disneyland over at uh, Disney Clothiers, but they did restock yesterday morning and I, I covered that too so make sure you follow us on instagram um looking forward to tonight's parade mm -hmm. and even later on we're going to celebrate a little uh, st patrick's day yeah oh that's right we found the st patrick's that's day right. item available in the park already we ordered it for later on this evening <laughs> it's an existing it's a christian anderson oh christian anderson thank you so much for your super chat says my yeah. name as a cast member. I just got hired as a cast member at Disneyland and I'm really excited. I start on Saturday. Oh my goodness. How exciting, Christian. I don't know if you want to share like all yeah, the details where of gonna where be. you're going to work, but we would love, love. to say hello we to you to and congratulate you. Or not on the stream, your yes, choice. Yes, we will be here on Saturday, right? Chris, will we be here on Saturday? We will be here on Saturday right. at some point during the day. We would love to say hello. Maybe it'll be based on when you tell us you're going to be here. Yeah. But we do have reservations for this Saturday. Everybody, let's congratulate Christian Amen. on being the, one of the newest members here at the Disneyland Resort. How exciting. Can you book my, um, my oh, yes. the 19th for me? Yeah. Uh, also? Here or DC? Here. That's exciting news. That is exciting. All right, parade is about to start. Uh, in about seven minutes, Amy says, so happy for you. Congratulations. Aloha, Secret Avenger. Yeah, let's say hi to some folks here in the chat. Before we get started, we have Elaine and Clarissa and Tony. Thanks for joining us, guys. On our, our little surprise date night, we have Amy and Tracy D. Hi, Tracy. We got Morgan, Spooky Bay. Uh, 19. 19. Tuesday. Yes. Uh, I was I was out of reservations until we uh, clicked in or came in today, so I got a, a reservation that I need to get because Chuby. If that's another thing we covered on Instagram on our stories. Chuby, the popcorn bucket, will be here on the 19th. If you haven't seen him, he's the cutest popcorn bucket. 
I don't know if it's one of those things like the um, picnic basket that's going to be here forever or if it's one of those things that's going to come and go. So I had to book my day. Uh, I will not be streaming on Tuesday, I don't believe. Uh, it's one of those things where I just pop in and out of the park, grab my stuff, and go. I'd be um, looking for it on Monday, though, just in case. <laughs> I be, know. I, when you're here Monday, you should be looking for it. Hi, Aaron. That's me. They're calling me. Oh, my gosh. Hi, Corky. Hi, Claudia. Hi, Eileen. Eileen, is it Cas Casimiro? Hello, Main Street Matt. Hi, Danny. Oh, you're feeling down. No, no, no. We're here to make you smile, Danny. We're here to make every put everybody with a smile on their face. If you're feeling down, we're gonna do our best to put a smile on your face. Christian said he's doing custodial. Oh, cool. that is exactly the spot our son started yes. in 12 years ago here, Christian. Yep. That is a that is a good starting spot starting point. Yeah. I truly believe that. And he does, he's made his way up the ladder. So yeah, it's he's, literally one of those cases where I won't say exactly where he works, but he is a senior stage manager somewhere. here in the park. <laughs> and he started in custodia as well. He went to school. He worked hard. And I'm telling you, he's done really well. Yeah, You can do the same thing if you that's what you want to do. But let us Hi, know Leah. if you know where you're working. We'll try to combine see you on Saturday. What land are you going to be working in? Hi, Lola. You know All right, let me let me say hi to you guys. I have not said hi. Show you my fit for today. <laughs> hi guys. You see I'm wearing my It's a small world ears. I haven't worn these ears in forever. I'm wearing my my teal and purple. I, I actually thought this was the teal with the white D. I have a I have a couple of these but I didn't know which one I had uh, I had picked up for today. So doing a little matchy match today, uh, but not too matchy matchy. But these ears, look at this bow. This is like huge. Yeah, I haven't worn this thing in forever. Uh, still looking for my my chew ears. Haven't been able to find my chew ears. So maybe this weekend I have this guy right here make me a uh, an ear stand. I need to. She does. I bought everything. I just haven't gotten <laughs> down to building made, it yet. Yeah, it, it, it probably needs, won't be this weekend. Yeah, it needs to hold at least at least a hundred, if not more. Yeah, which is which is ridiculous, by the way. That is ridiculous. It uh, truly is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. But what do I do with the ears I don't want? Keep, give them away. Sell them. Donate them. What do I What do I do with those ears? I don't know what I do with those ears. Maybe you guys can help me out. <laughs> Amy says I need those ears. Yeah, these ears were from a while ago. Oh, it's a small world. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It, it, they, they're from a while ago. Um, this bow, though, is like a Japanese-style bow. They do big, big bows on their on their ears. Big bows. Big bows. They like big bows, and they cannot lie. I like big bows. <laughs> my favorite. It's my thing. <laughs> That's your thing, big bows. Ah, uh, thank you, Claudia. Thank you, Aaron. Um, Spooky Bay says, sell them. David Kiss from the artist community of New Mexico. Hi, David. Uh, Matt, Main Street Matt is asking, what are your plans tonight in the park? So we're going to be doing a little park hopping. Um, first and foremost, we want to catch this parade. Did you see that? It's a Disney's, tic oh, yeah, it's my oh. it's Disney's TikTok about to be said part one. Oh. What else are they going to have? Oh, interesting. Um, Spooky Base is Poshmark and um, Mercy. Great. Macari, oh, Macari. Great ways to sell ears. I'm always like, do people want used ears though? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I think they will. I think they will. I don't know. They make Lysol and stuff to kill anything bad on there. <laughs> <You'll be fine. laughs> Christian Anderson says, How can I become a member? Christian. Right down next to the subscribe button. There should be a join button. Uh, I see Tony has put the uh, the join information up through Nightbot. Thank you, Tony, for that. 
So Christian, there it is. You click on that, uh, it'll give you all the options. Several different levels. You can't. I think I can. No, it's, uh, it, you can't. You don't get to choose who no. it is? Oh. No, you don't get to choose who it is. Hey, Jen! Queen J Race here. Nice. All right, also for tonight, if you guys hit 300 likes, we have six giveaways. So right now, Extravaganza 2024 is happening. There are Easter eggs all over the park. We will be unlocking these, giving away one. You'll have your choice of one of these on this pin card. Here we go, baby. Are we ready? I can see it. Oh, here they come. Here they come. They just opened the gate. This is the anthem, this is what you came for. This is the moment, magic was made for. Come on, come on, let's light up the sky now. Come on, Chris, you know you want to sing this. Come on, Mo, you can sing it so hard in my head right now. <laughs> Hi, Frankie's Bride. This is what I do before the, the parade gets
Genesis. Did I tell you guys I met Todd, Todrick Hall while in the line for Star Wars? Yeah, I think you did. He did such an amazing job with the choreography of this parade. Oh, Danny! Thank you for your super chats. I'm happy to see you guys. And happy vibes from me to you, my besties, Marina and Chris. My apologies, I'm not with you guys today. Aww.
Hey, Ross. Leah's ninja watching. Hi, Annie. Jordan. Makes me hungry. This part makes you hungry. I want Mexican food. Now. Oh. <laughs> I want an empanada. You want empanada. <laughs> Coco. Ah. I'm gonna have a special love for this because my grandbaby's nickname is gonna be Coco. So I need to get one of these costumes here, so I can <laughs> I can do this dance. Miguelito. Favorite part of the parade with this song. Come with 
best song in the whole thing. All your dreams are out there waiting to be chased, just in case. I love this song so much. Little sassy, look at her. <laughs> yes, Peter! Genie! I got a high you got a high fry from, from Genie. I think that means I get to make a wish now. I think so. If you're just, if you're just in me. It makes me get all my feels. I feel the exact same way. You can do it. You can do anything you want if you just believe in yourself. This is the anthem. It's what you came for. This is the moment.
the last year. Oh, that's nice! Like the <laughs> How you doing? Uh, you? you want to see this? You want to say hi? Yeah. Hey, everybody. Hi. Tell everybody who you are. Brian, Disney fan. Brian. So, okay. Brian, Brian was chatting inside the chat. He said he was here. He was hoping to meet us. And look who we found. <laughs> So what are, you, what are you doing today, Brian? Oh, just hanging out in the park. You've been, you've been here all day? Oh, uh, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, so, what's been your favorite part of the day? Um, just you know, seeing the uh, scene, the atmosphere, the scenery. Uh -huh. Have Have you tried any of the food over at DCA? Uh, not yet. Um, <laughs> I went to Tari and uh, Joe. Oh, okay. And then just got away for you. Nice. Well, what are you? Say hi to Brian. Yeah. Everybody say hi to you. <laughs> All right, Brian. All right. We're off inside the Emporium. Uh, maybe we'll catch you around in the in the park a little bit later. All right. Okay. Have okay. a good one. Ah. He's having a good day today. Made a friend. I know. Yeah, we've seen Brian um, here in the park. Um, when was it? Was like last? Was it like last week? I think when we were here last week. All right, I am curious to know if, so there were, there's been some new merch that dropped today. Um, I don't see it here. It looks like it's a zipped up spirit jersey. So, but it's not from spirit jersey. So what we've been noticing is this is making it, a shift. Yeah, it looks like Disney is making a move, I'm making a play. Um, so the crew next. Crew, here it is. So this is the Macron part of the the East line, apparently. But this is the Macron merch. So they're sticking with Loungefly for their backpacks. But we've been noticing. So this is, no, this is a spirit jersey. Oh, it is. Yeah, so they have a whole crew neck line of merch. That, is this food merch? Yeah, that looks like it's a spirit jersey, but it's not. But this is branded as spirit jersey. All right, so. Disney Eats. Disney Eats, it is the Macron line. Look at these Macrons on here with kind of a, a multicolored, established 1955. But look at the back. Very colorful, tie-dye. This does not feel like 100% cotton. This this feels a little polyester, but I'll check the tag. But it feels uh, nice and thick, though. Uh, it does feel nice and thick. And it's a zipped-up hoodie, which I love. Hold on, Chris. Sorry. I was looking to see what it was made yeah, of. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at what it's made of. But Disneyland is all in multi-colors, very poppy colors. Very spring. And then there are Macrons on the sleeve. Looks like we got a blue, a yellow, a pink Macron. What do you guys think about this? I love that it is a zip up hoodie because I, I don't like. Well, Cheryl's saying she likes the colors. Kathy's saying I like that Jersey Monster. Yes, it is. I Kathy think it's on the. Tie -dye. I think the. Uh, we got. Uh, can you hold this? Gail Rex says she likes it. What is it made out of? Can you read it? I got my glasses out if you want to see them. Um, oh, and it's just so cute, but needs more pink. Yeah. I don't see where it's... Yeah, it's... Oh, so yeah. No cotton? It's, no, it's 20%, 80%. The body is 80% cotton with 20% polyester. Yeah, I, just in feeling it, I could tell it was not 100% cotton. So, uh, Queen Jerry's asking how, how big does it go? What sizes? Um, they have extra small all the way to double X right now. So, extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, and XXL. They have the whole range right now. But I do like, I wish they would carry more of these zip-up hoodies. Um... No worries. Oh, Danny. Oh, you're good. You're <laughs> no good. Danny, oh, thank you for your super chat again. I'm so sorry I didn't tell you guys. Oh, no. Uh, the staff at the hospital say I have 
a little fracture in my lower back. Oh my gosh, Danny, what did you do? Uh, but hopefully with a little magic from Disneyland this Thursday. Oh my gosh, Danny. Oh no, did you fall? Um, Charlie says the polyester keeps it from shrinking. Oh. That must be. Yeah, I don't like these. Ugh. I don't know. I'm. I apologize to anybody who likes these, but for me, this is not. This is not a thing for me. Uh, the pizza ears? Nope. 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 I mean, I'll tell you, the craftsmanship of these is amazing. There is like stitching, and this is like embroidered. And, like I love the quality of this. I just don't like the way it looks. I don't know. Mm -hmm. it looks unappealing. Ears are cuter than the bag. Do we want to uh, go look yeah. at pins? Oh yeah, today is a pin. Got more to look out here. Yeah, today is a pin drop day. Um, no, that's that's kind of the the newest. Yeah, the newest line that drops. Uh, Michelle says wearing food is not really my style. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mine either, except like the Macron one that came out, that was cute, but it was just like a Macron <laughs> in the middle of a, uh, of the bow. So that was, that was kind of cute. But like... I'm wearing food, I means I spilt. <laughs> I spilt something. You spilt it. You spilt something on you if you're wearing it. I got it. Yeah. That happens to me too sometimes. That happens to me too. <laughs> I'm curious to see what new pins drop today. Yeah, but Danny, take care of yourself. Kirk said he's making plans for pizza tomorrow night right now. Oh, yeah, pizza, I'm all about it, but I don't want to wear it. But here's the big question about pizza. Thin crust or thick crust? <laughs> Thin or thick. Ooh, white pizza or red? Ooh, white so, ooh, so thin many. Crust. Thin crust is the way to go. I like a thick crust. Uh, Claudia says the churro ears are cute, but I'm not Thanks. loving Thanks. the pizza ears. Yeah, I have the, the churro ears. I haven't worn them because they're heavy. They're really heavy. Okay, did they sell out again? So Disney clothiers. They have the whole sketch line here, and that's where I got my ears. Um, we'll check over at uh, at DCA at Elias and Company. That's where I found them yesterday. They restocked yesterday. They may have been, they may have sold out again. Cannot, don't know for sure. Um, you want to? Pepperoni and jalapeno says this. Oh yes. I'm with you except for jalapeno. No jalapeno. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. So see this? See how cute this is? Super cute. Well, it uh, it's right here. So this, if you flip it around, this makes like you yeah. Jersey. It looks like a spirit jersey, but it's not. It's Disney branded. No yeah. spirit jersey involvement at all. So. Chris and I were, were talking, like they if they can manufacture this themselves, I don't know who the design team, yeah. if they work with the lounge fly or spirit jersey design team, no. like how that works. I don't think they have to. No, they don't have to. They can cut something out of the picture they will. No, no, I'm talking about the spirit jersey. No, no, I The official you. spirit jersey. No, I get you. I get you. But this is, they call that line something specific and I can't remember. Crew, something crew. Chronicles crew. No, I don't know. Chronicles crew. Oh, look, look, look. Look, look, look. look. This is Pizza Planet baseball jersey. It's pizza. Yes. This is Disney Pixar Toy Story. Look at how cute this is. I love this. Even the armbands. So cute. What does it say on the back? In the Freshest in the galaxy, Pizza Planet. So the baseball, kind of that baseball jersey line, Pizza Planet, 
Uh, these are back. I've seen these uh, a few places in the park, the Disneyland. I do have one of those. Okay, we're getting lots of people throwing out their pizza preferences. Oh, okay. So Kathy's what? got a pretty. Uh, what is Kathy crazy like? Appetite. <laughs> Either crust oil and vinegar sauce, mozz cheese, chicken, Ooh. olive, pineapple, mushroom. That's my pizza. Ooh. Yeah, that's got all sorts of stuff on wow, it. Wow, that's like a specialty pizza. That is a special one. Um. All right, we're going to head on over to Frontierland. Go check out the pins over there. Um, since we're already walking down Main Street. Yeah, we could have we could have doubled back to the music store. But let's get into the park. See what the crowds are looking like. Spring crowds. David uh, McMullen says, I love pineapple on pizza too, but I'm more of a pepperoni and, and pineapple guy. Yeah. No pineapple on your pizza. Yeah, no, that's not true. No pineapple that's on the pizza. That's not true. That's on that is the law. <laughs> that's on your pizza, no pineapple. I. The Italians would protest. I would love everything on my pizza. We'll have to go to Italy and see how many pizzas we can buy in Italy <laughs> that will have that will have pineapple. On. Awesome! That means you're taking me to Italy. Uh, winner, so, winner. Well, the next time we're there, <laughs> I win. We're gonna go on Let's a virtual vacation. <laughs> <laughs> I like that challenge. Let's do it. I get a trip to Italy. Oh, windy. Mm -hmm. They know how to handle those balloons so they don't get all tangled. Hey, Bella Ben! Christian says, I have been to Italy. I love it. That we've, was, been, uh, we've been ourselves as well there, Christian. That was and one Rita of... Loves it. That was right before we got engaged. He took me to Italy. He, he suckered me in. <laughs> he roped me in. Because this is where you... Okay, so this line right here. If you're wondering what this line is about, this is a magic key holder deal where for every... This is the the photo thing. It's not just a magic key. It's not anymore. Oh, okay. No, it's never happened. This is called the photo excursion. So okay. Oh yes, so you the photo excursion. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Anyone? Not just magic key. Awesome. Nice. Um, okay. Photo excursion. You get a photographer for ten minutes. So somebody told us that this was for magic key holders. Yeah. This is awesome. All right. So Danny this line, again. Danny. What did he do? What did he do? It was a hidden injury and old accident from years ago in the I'm very happy. Aww. To it's an old injury. Aww. Old accident from years ago. I'm very happy to see you guys again at Disneyland Resort. Have fun for me. Aww. So what's the healing time on your injury? I know you you were planning to be here like on Thursday. Aww. All right, so somebody had told me that this was a magic key thing, but apparently not. So photo pass. If you line up here, now this is, I think it starts at like four or five o'clock, something like that. Um, you will get a photographer to take photos of you for 10 minutes for free. They used, you used to have to pay for this and it was like a hundred dollars, but it is now free and I think this is going on for like a for it's like a, a test. yeah for this like a few a weeks I think that's why it's free it's a test yeah they they did this before it was a hundred bucks and I think it was like for 20 minutes yeah they have another one too. so it's from noon to 645 oh, okay daily. noon to 645 if you want to take photos with a Disney photographer now they'll take, we were told they'll take you. I can tell you exactly. Oh, tell us, tell us. They will, uh, you can have, there's four lands guests can choose to have their photos taken in. Frontierland, Adventureland, Main Street USA, and Fantasyland. Because one of the photo pass photographers we spoke to recommended choosing Fantasyland or Adventureland since there aren't any photographers currently of those lands for photo opportunities. Awesome. 
And does it say how long it's going until? Uh... Yeah, this is going on over at DCA as well. So not just here at Disneyland. Hi, Senator. So sorry. I'm ninja watching, driving to another yard for supplies. Now, she's probably more correct, but it says you'll need to either have a Disney Genie Plus or have a Magic Key with PhotoPass in order to get all of your photos. There oh. is an option to purchasing each photo individually, though. There so you, you go. You can still participate, but to get all your photos for free, you have to have one of those other. There you go. Things. Hi, Mike. Testing will end on Saturday, March 16th. Oh. And we'll be moving over to Disney California Adventure the 17th for four weeks and testing in that park. But they're already doing something like that right now. I'm just telling you what it says, baby. Huh. Maybe over there at DCA, it's a magic key. Oh, and I should say, or this a... is from uh, chippincompany.com is where I just got all that information. Okay. Yeah, maybe over at DCA, it's a magic key member thing right now. But this Saturday is the last day for free. Hi, Mike. I know I said hi a little bit earlier, but <laughs> say hi to Robin. How are you guys doing? All right. Oh, okay. They have a lot of new things. Oh, Christian says I have my traditions class as a new cast member. I sent you an email regarding my Tumblr. Awesome, Christian. We will uh, get back with you on that. Send you the designs. Yeah, I have another one for Gary. Gary, if you're watching, I still have to do yours. Look at these. Yeah, I don't know if I like them or not. Brother Bear? Is that brother, that, is? that is Brother Bear. You never see stuff for Brother yeah. Bear. Oh, look it. Robin Hood. Keep your chin up, look. These are cute. Yeah, the four at the bottom look, they're not yeah. associated with the other ones. No. Well, some of the, them. So these, these eight, these eight are new. Yeah. These eight are new. These ones are from last week. Which one of these is your favorite, guys? These are cute. I don't know. I'm thinking Tink. I'm thinking Tink. Either Tink or... Oh, look at Pooh. Pooh's cute, too. <laughs> so cute. Hi, Not So Shady Warren. Thank you guys for showing Christian and Danny love in the chat with gold stars and gold hearts. All right, and just so you guys know, we are doing a pin giveaway today. We need 300 likes. We have 285 people in the chat right now. You guys could totally get these pins. Let's show you what we're giving away. Let's go outside. Oh, are there any specialty pins? No, same one, same one oh. as the, the Peter Pan one, the park business. It's like the newest one back there still. All right. I looked. Because the extravaganza is going on today, if we hit our 300 likes, uh, we have 282 people, you could totally knock it out in one shot right now. Extravaganza 2024 is happening at the park right now. You can, for $10, you can get your your egg go seek <laughs> card um, and run throughout the park but for $35 you can get six of these pins we will be giving away these six one six separate giveaways correct yes <laughs> six separate giveaways six giveaways of a pen each so you'll be able to pick the pin you want. Of course, when the pin is gone, then you'll have the remainder to select from. But we are going to be giving away these six pins, one to each winner. Only available here at the Disneyland Park at the Extravaganza 2024. Hit that like button, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more fun 
live streams and vlogs here at the park and elsewhere. Kathy says Mickey or Tink for me. Here, babe. Let me uh, let me put on my jacket. It's starting to get a little cold here. Balaban says put one for Tink, two for Winnie the Pooh. Looking at some rides, see what was available out there. The big rides are pretty busy. We're closed down. Uh, what's what's down at the uh, moment? Right now is Winnie the Pooh is down. Winnie the Pooh is down. Uh, Space Mountain is down. Wow. Roger Rabbit's down. Rise okay. of the Resistance is down. We got four rides down. Yeah, so it looks. Like. Wow, park is struggling tonight. It does say that uh, Mr. Toad is only 15. Did you that a show? Did you try Mr. Toad. Uh, uh yeah. You want to go back around that way? Sure. We can do that. Let's go back around this way. We can do that. Like you mentioned we're gonna head over to DCA in a little bit. Pick up some food and pick up my uh, magic key magnet. I have not done that yet. Hopefully, there's not too many people over there. It has to be before seven. <laughs> it right? has to be before seven. It's six yeah. eleven now, so oh. we'll just ride and go on over. Hopefully, Mr. Toad is actually fifteen minutes, so then we can boogie on over to DCA. Grab that magic key magnet for Chris because he did not get his. I picked mine up yesterday. Christian says, I will donate some Disney tickets sometimes to you guys for a giveaway. Oh my goodness, Christian. <laughs> well, Christian, you. Uh, that's awfully generous. That's super generous. Absolutely super generous. We can't wait to, uh, to meet you here in the park on Saturday. It'll be amazing. Uh, David said, you just have to find a way to rise above it. <laughs> and for Tinkerbell, please. Yeah, that Tinkerbell one was super cute. But how can you not love the, the Winnie the Pooh one? Everybody has their favorite. Wow, there's a lot of people lined up to take their photos over here with the castle. Sorry, guys. We just got a little, a little pop of about a couple of, a uh, couple of not suggestions, but ideas for me. Not ideas. Hints that there will be mazes of this year's HHN. Oh. Uh, Ghostbusters. Makes sense. But huh. then uh, the last of us. Not what the last of us. Uh, a Quiet Place. A quiet Place. Two. Hi, so, Donatella. Let's see. Yeah, Christian says, I have my traditions class on Saturday. So is that like a whole day? Is that like a whole shift? I've always wanted to be a cast member. I really have. It's just some working at a, a theme park during the summer. Like summers are are my worst time of year. I am not a summer person. Uh oh. I think it's down, Chris. It's down. Yeah. Okay, so number five. Attraction. Not a bad wait time. Yeah, wait. <laughs> Mr. Toad also down. That's attraction number five here in the park that's yeah. down. That's kind of crazy. Get in and I'll, I'll bounce it around. It'll be the same thing. <laughs> Get in it you want me to sit in here? What are you going to do? Okay, I'm in the car. Guilty. Guilty. That's all. That's all. That <laughs> it's like being there. All right, let's let's loop around because we need to get over to DCA.
Well, or the app. So we should tell them they have to let us in because the app says it's 15 minutes. You have to. Are you calling the app a liar? You wouldn't call the app a liar. <laughs> a guilty, that's right. That'll be. <laughs> that is your thing. Oh, mustard alert. Oh no, somebody's balloon. No. Everybody's crying. The balloons are crying. No. I think we should go to DCA. Yeah, I think we have to. Because there might be a big enough line where I won't be able to get it. We'll see. Uh, David says, my wife says I'm always guilty even when I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling there. I know the feeling. Ooh, the evil queen. Ooh, look at this. She is out roaming. Farewell. Farewell, I say. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you. I got the king. Who she thinks she is? I got the king. The fairest one of them all. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Right here, let's see. <laughs> Robert says that was cool. That was cool. <laughs> did you see what she did to us? Not just me. She did to all of you guys too. <laughs> she knows you're all watching. She was not a fan of yours, sweetie. She was not a fan. <laughs> you say to me on the way out, like, hey. But I love her. I know you do, but she doesn't know. But I love she don't her. Care. <laughs> Balaban says, I like the Tinkerbell pin one. She don't care about me. <laughs> she gave me the cape. And the and the face. Did you see the face? It was I like, know. ooh. I know. Ooh, that cold stare. Her makeup, though, flawless. flawless. <laughs> hey! I was going to start yelling, Doug. They're trying to get hold of you, Doug. Dad. Doug. Doug. Dad. Doug. They're calling People you. They're trying to get a hold of you. Jordan says, I have to go and get my son from work. I'll be back. Bye, nice. Jordan. Drive safe. We will still be here for a while. We will be here. It is a, a surprise live slash date night yep. for us here at the park. I can't think of a better way to spend date night than with a few hundred of our yes. friends. Yes, and giving away pins. Give away some pins? Yes. That's what we do on our date nights. Yes. We and give I, away stuff. And I get an empanada. At least I think <laughs> I do. We'll see. <laughs> Hopefully. I decide a tasting card. So yeah. I get six empanadas. I think you should get a tasting card because you know we're gonna we're gonna be here Saturday. for more. <laughs> <laughs> I could just stop by on my own from work, stop by, get an empanada, and leave. That's true. And we're gonna be trying the Sig Sig burrito over at the Pacific uh, or Paradise. What is it? Paradise Grill. Paradise. Garden Grill. You're gonna be trying the Sig yeah. Sig burrito. I'm going to try it because it's, it's got, got too much stuff. Stuffing. It's, it's got, got too much stuff for Chris. Too much stuff. David says, I'm feeling tired. Took my sixth graders on a field trip today. Oh, Had to get up go? extra early this morning. Where, Where do they go? Where do you take sixth graders to keep them? Sixth graders nowadays are so know, much old. different than we were sixth graders. Yes. It's hard to keep their attention. Ooh, I'm glad I put on my jacket. My cool. goodness. Look at the little baby. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we are very close to baby watch. We are getting very close to baby watch. So Chris will be your tour guide through Disneyland pretty, pretty quick. Yeah, a little bit. He's done some live streams with y'all before. I've done two. <laughs> you know I'm taking you guys to Knott's at least one night. Oh, gosh. Look at oh. Nico's like, are you okay, Mom and Dad? 
We're good. We're good, Nico. We're good. So, Nico, we have a, uh, a new member named Christian Anderson who has become a cast member and will start working this Saturday in Custodial. New cast member alert. Everybody congratulated him. Nola Lass says, Chris will be our cruise director even though he's never been on a cruise. This is true. Well, he's been on a jungle cruise. Does that count? If I can remember the name of the cruise director from the love boat. Was it Chrissy? No. No, there were there were a few cruise directors. The blonde girl. Uh, Julie. Julie. Her name was Julie. How did I, I remember be, that? I will be. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Director. I got to go in here. I got to see if there are. Uh, Let's see if they have any new Louis Vuitton. Any stuff. Louis Vuitton's. Any designer. Oh, no. Oh, there's no Louis. No. Louis the Gucci. No. And Dooney's. They have Dooney and Burks. Okay, so two Dooney and Burks. You got a Gucci. That's a backpack up there. Can we sell yours here? No. <laughs> no. Look at how mean he is. He wants to sell my stuff. Susan Lopez celebrating a member anniversary. Nice. Thank you for your support, Susan. We truly appreciate you. Yeah, I spent a lot of the weekend learning all sorts of extra stuff about knots. Oh gosh, he's on this knots kick. On this kick. Knot kick. But you guys have no idea. <laughs> I don't want to interrupt the dad or dance. We'll wait a moment. The necessities of life will come to you. The necessities of life will come to you. They'll come to you. For the the simple bare necessities Forget about your worries and your strife I mean the bare necessities That's why up there can rest in ease With just those bare necessities of life When you pick up all Or wrinkly bare And you pick a raw Next time beware For dance. Always shakalaka. Oh, <laughs> shakalaka. <laughs> Hi, Catherine. Hi, Jenny. I don't think I said hi to Jenny yet. Leslie V says the dapper dance at dusk. A magical moment for sure. Terry J says, I wish they did that on June 10th for me. Oh, sing? Sing like songs to you? What day? June what? June 10th. June 10th. A day after you. A day late. A day after your birthday. Yep, a day late. I'm trying to figure out a plan to be here on my birthday. Because <laughs> I got to work during the day. I know. Get over here at night. Celebrate with some Disney treats. No, we're doing it at night. No, we're not. Thank you. Hi, Bengali. Wow. Is, there's a lot of people headed over. People coming up to work for dinner? I guess so. My goodness. Look at the lines for DCA. You can just... There's big crowds of people walking in all at once. No, that crowd's got to be for something different. I don't know. Because we can everybody walk in over here, but then there's... Huh. I'm confused. Or maybe they should open up more gates. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Because you see a bunch of people rushing over to the right-hand side. Christian just ordered a cinnamon sugar pretzel nuggets from Auntie Ant. 
That sounds good. Man, somebody's celebrating today for a new job. <laughs> Hey, you have to celebrate being a cast member here? Heck yeah! Frankie's Bride says, I would say Chris's birthday knots would be perfect. See? Frankie's Bride knows where it is. But but they don't stay open very long. That's that's one of the issues too. They don't stay very do they don't stay I'm open very long. For me, for my birthday. They'll stay open just a little bit later. <laughs> No, so while we're in line, so you guys have to remember, you guys have to believe in knots. You remember, this place wouldn't exist if it wasn't for knots. Oh, boo. Do you know how many Imagineers <laughs> left Disney and went to knots? You guys know the Knott's Berry Tales, right? Who do you think designed that? One Raleigh Crump of the Enchanted Tiki Room and Haunted Mansion. Who designed History lesson. History. Kingdom of the Dinosaurs. History lesson. A little old man named Bob Gurr did that one. <laughs> Voyage to the Reef. Bob Gerd. Okay, Chris. I'm just saying. We we know that there's a very close relationship between Disneyland and Knott's Berry Farm. There but right is. now we're here at Disneyland, so let's pull it in and so stay in the it. stay in the moment, Chris. I have my picture taken with Tony <laughs> Baxter at Knott's Berry you did. Farm. You That's he looks like he he could be your dad. I know. That was the crazy that part. That was good. Look at David says so not Disney leftovers. <laughs> a little bit. I, I appreciate Disney. You guys know that. I appreciate it. Well, let's not forget where it all came from. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, okay, baby. Okay, Chris. Let's stay in the moment. All right. Let's go get that uh, magnet. So you think we'll get a special entrance lane with these new? Uh, Will be a magic key scan entrance lane with those new uh, um, ticket scanners. I don't know. They're over here. The new, the new entrance. We'll show you those. So yesterday, again, if you're not following us on Instagram, we covered all this on Instagram. So some stuff we cover here on YouTube. Some other stuff, late breaking stuff. We cover on Instagram, so make sure you follow us there as well. <laughs> Christian. <laughs> Christian says, Chris, stop talking and listen to your wife. <laughs> ah, let's let's show you. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here are the new turnstiles. So these are exactly like they have in Paris. You'll see the glass divider. So a cast member is going to stand over here and make sure. So when people think that there's not going to be any, any cast members here and they're going to scan their uh, magic band, there is a little scanner down at the bottom where you can just boop. Uh, there is also a camera up on top, so they will still be taking pictures. I've been told that facial recognition is going to be in play. So, uh, because they need to know if you're coming in and out, who it is that's coming in the park. Just like when you take your regular day ticket, they take a photo of you. Instead of having a cast member take the picture, that black pad over there has a camera to it. So it's going to take your photo. The cast member over here is going to verify whether your ticket is good or not. And once they get the green light, these clear doors will open just exactly like they have in Paris. So they're going to be trading out all of these turnstiles to look just like that. But for right now, there are only two. Uh, I don't believe they have any over on the Disneyland side. At least they didn't as of uh, as of yesterday. They may. These went up really quick. So the infrastructure has been in the works for a while. All right, Chris went to go get a tasting card. Now we've already done 
food and wine. We haven't done all the food, but we did try all the new food. At least the, the food that's at the booths. But Chris is in love with the empanada. He, he has been for like the last couple of years. So he wants an empanada for dinner tonight. And being that it's a date night, Chris is going to get what he wants. Empanadas. Balaban says, holy, this is crazy, my friend. Y'all are doing this stuff from Paris. Yeah, we, uh, I don't know why they didn't go the Disney World route where you uh, put your put your fingerprint down. That would have worked too, but maybe it was uh, less work. All right. <laughs> what is he doing? See? <laughs> You're talking about knots. I heard well, knots. But, but I was asking for a knots, <laughs> and I said, can I get the eight? Oh, oh. Wait, or, that's sorry, the six. The six. No, they don't have... Oh, is it six? No, I know. It's eight. There. I said, oh, sorry, wrong part. It's and eight. And she got said, well, where were you thinking of? I go, knots. Knots. Well, boysenberry? I guess I love knots, boysenberry festival. Oh, sure. <laughs> See, even though mm -hmm. here. Well, let's go get in line for me, because otherwise it's going to disappear later. All right. I want to go to uh, Elias and Company just to see if they still have those Dooney and Burke ears for y'all. I know exactly what you want to go do. I already have my ears, so it's not for me. You want to let everybody else know if they're still there? Yes. Yes, because I put them on my Instagram yesterday, and I'm hoping that some folks who wanted them saw that Instagram and were able to get a hold of them. They sold out really quickly here in the park and also on line when uh, at Shop Disney. Now it's the Disney store. Yeah, I do not know how many they got. She was she was not sure. Oh, they're gone. They're gone again. Because they were they were right here sold out again all right well if you were looking for them I hope you saw my Instagram post yesterday at about noon time yep they are sold out once again Hollywood land let's go get this magic key magnet and see if there are characters out. Yesterday, I took the cutest picture with the white rabbit. And they had Tweedledee and Tweedledum out. They had um, Mulan out with uh, Captain Shang and uh, Mushu? Mushu was out. Tracy D says, good, it's a good thing I got the ears the first time around. Yeah, it's one of those things where if they're here in the park, grab them. You never know what's going to be the hot ticket thing. And if it's something that you like and you're considering, grab it. <laughs> Worst case scenario, you probably know somebody. Uh, and I'm not talking about just like ears. I'm talking about anything here in the park that's kind of like a, a new drop. You might know somebody who would like it, even if you if you decide maybe it's not something for you, you can sell it to them or, you know, birthday gifts, Christmas gifts. It's a Tuesday. <laughs> Here's a gift. One Happy of those Tuesday. kind of things. I know. Happy Tuesday. Here's a gift. So maybe they did you a big favor. Uh, we are going to the to the right. Hi, Angie. Welcome in, everybody. Um, Mike says, love your photos from yesterday. It was so fun. We had no idea what to expect. They just said it was a movie night. Um, 
and Magic Key was involved and we're like I'm like okay well let's go check it out like is it is it really like we're gonna have movies because it's here at the Hyperion and there's a theater there they could oh is it right there yeah you Those go people just went in? no you can go in on the oh, side okay. No, you don't have to go through the door. Yeah. I want to go through the door. Yeah. So this is only happening for a few days. So we're gonna take you back here, magic key entrance. You gotta present your magic key. I know. Oh, it's, some, there's five, uh, like, somebody just gave me five, five memberships. Oh, I think it's Jen. Jen, did you give away memberships? Did you have mine too? What's that? She's with me. <laughs> okay, you're going to go straight. This is all covered up. So you're not able to see it from the outside. Show them mine. Okay. Jen, thank you so much for gifting those memberships to our community. The recipients of that was Mike. Mike Barbel. Uh, we have Foolish Mortal, Lions Fan 20. Miss Muffin and Miss Jen 702. Got a couple on here? Yep. Thank you. Perfect. Have a Thank great you. day. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Where are you going? <laughs> so they have a step and repeat. Oh, they have a photo pass person here today. They didn't have a photo person yesterday. Jen says, I love spreading love. Thank you, Jen, for that. We're all feeling the love from you, for sure. Look at how cute. Um, maybe. Are they doing drawings? Oh, wow. So yesterday, they had a magician and jugglers. Look at, they are drawing Mushu. That is so cool. You walk around and see the white rabbit? The white rabbit is out. Yeah. This is who I got to take my photo with. These lines get really long. Uh, they're only out here for 10 minutes and then they get they have to take a break. This is uh, a little nicer of uh, Magic Key. Right? I know. Look at how sweet. Oh, I know. It's like, you gotta give him a second yeah, hug. Gotta you gotta hug. get a second hug. Yeah, so all this is back here for Magic Key holders. Uh, it's like a couple days today, and then there's a break, and then a couple more days next week, I believe. Yeah, both of them I know, it's Mulan and Captain Shang. Strike the pose. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Strike the pose. <laughs> so fun. We're doing what they told us to do. So I think they've closed the line off. This ends at 7 o'clock. So we were here at 2 o'clock? Was it? it opened up this yeah, 2 o'clock. Two, from 2 to 7. You can come back here if you're a Magic Key holder, take some photos with the characters. Now, they swap off Tweedledee and Tweedledum for the White Rabbit and Mushu for Mulan and Captain Shang. But make sure you come and get that magnet. There's a, some information about the artist who created the magnet. We'll take a quick sneak some information about Asia Ellington. She's an illustrator and character designer based in Burbank. So she is who created this magic key magnet. Some more information about her. Yeah, but this started yesterday. 
So as soon as it opened yesterday at two, I was here. This, to... is, this is probably the biggest thing they've done for Magic Keyholes, right? Um, Usually they give you like, here's a popcorn bucket, but you have to buy the popcorn bucket, and then you get cheap popcorn. But this is like a whole thing. So you're I think, liking this? I think this is a good step forward. This is a nice way to, uh, this is a nice thing for uh, Magic Key holders. It feels a little exclusive compared to It does feel generic. a little, it I does agree. feel exclusive. Especially because you have this wall of yeah, a if foliage. They could, if they can continue this trend and start yeah. bringing out really rare characters, yes. or things you normally just can't find in the park, you don't see the white rabbit very often no, in the park. No, so. no, no. That, that, I think that's cool. I think that's nice. And Mushu, you only get to see him during Lunar New Year. Yeah, usually yes. That's really nice. Though. That's nice. It is very nice. Yeah, and like I said, they have see this wall. You're not able to yeah, to see, see what. Privacy. Yeah. Huh. And maybe this is because we have a whole bunch of new Magic Key uh -huh. members. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. See any babies missing shoes? No. Put it on the trash can. Yeah. Huh. So there's a baby around here missing a shoe. Yeah, put it on the trash can. <laughs> That is the proper protocol. Yes, you put it on the trash can. Oh, look at the lines Some... of guardians. Wow. wow. Look, look at this. <laughs> I know what ride we're not getting on. Wow. Well, all right. Look at this line. It comes all the way out here. Actually. <laughs> I'm like... Hmm. Do we get on it? <laughs> Make a phone call. <laughs> Make a phone call. Let's get on. <laughs> yeah, it's 75 minutes. 75 minutes. 75 minutes. Oh. Yeah. Uh, is it dinner and time? time? Empanada time. I'm all down. I'm down for empanada. Get an empanada. Why not? You have you're six. You're getting a burrito. You have six tabs. Can I at least have a bite? I have eight tabs. Can I have a bite? Yes, you I can, have eight tabs. You can have eight empanadas if you wanted. So you're even thinking not very far when you said six as well. <laughs> no. We had the Magic Key Lounge at Disneyland for a hot second. I know. <laughs> That's true. And then they ripped it away from us. Magic Key Lounge. Remember that over at Tomorrowland? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How easily we forget. Yes, because it happened so like a flash in the pain. Yeah. Boom. It was a good time when it came because it was like hot. Do you know who has their own version of a Magic Key Lounge? With free oh, snacks. Oh, stop. Knott's Berry Farm, Prestige oh, Lounge. Stop. I'm just saying. Here we go. All the chips and cookies you would want to eat. <laughs> Kristen says, saying. be nice, Chris. Share with your wife. I will share. <laughs> I just like, don't want to eat a burrito. Oh, yeah. I just want a bite. Or, I'm going to give you a burrito. Or two. I don't know. Christian, like have, Christian, have you had the empanada? It is so good. Um, it's okay. You have to like spice though. It is it is hot. Look at Jen says I can't with knots. I'm with you, Jen. Although for the food festivals, I'm I'm there for the food festivals. You enjoyed Boys and Berry Festival. Yeah, the food for Boys and Berry Festival, pretty good. We had one miss. We did a whole vlog on that. So if you're interested in finding out about knots, knots uh, Boys and Berry Festival, check that out. There was one miss. It was a pretty big miss too. Ugh. I well, think about it now. I'm like, ugh. How was the uh, the fish here? The fish taco, baby. Uh, you know what? It wasn't bad. The fish taco? The fish here? taco? No, it wasn't you bad. You hated it. No, I didn't. I didn't like the uh, chicken wings. Uh, the chicken wings were bad. The fish here. taco wasn't good either. Uh, it was plant based. If that would have been a real piece of chicken, oh my god, they would have killed it. Chances I'm never driving to the OC for knots. <laughs> oh, 
Come on. Christian Jen? says, no, not yet. I will try then. Okay, who does Halloween better? Uh, mic dropped. Boom. <laughs> Halloween. Well, if you boom. like if you like scary. It doesn't matter if you like it or not. Still do it better. <laughs> Frankie Spice says, we got the chips. Oh, the chips from uh, Boysenberry Festival. So good. With the nachos? The nachos, yeah. yeah. SS Skyler says, there is no lounge. Uh, it was either magic. Oh, it was in their magic key ad today. Huh. Oh. Yeah, they need to do something for the magic key holders um, to where you could just go and not, like, the magic key terrace, you have to buy something. You have to buy. Oh, here we go. We're going to be here on Saturday. You're going to have your uh, cast member pass. Yeah. Your, what's it called? The front gate no, this pass? No, I think this is a different Christian. There's two oh, Christians Christian. in there. Sorry. Yeah. I have to be honest, I went once to Not Scary Farm. It was so crowded. Oh, should I, should right I switch over to the Wi Fi? It's bad. Are we buffering? It's bad again. Uh, depends on where we're going, that's the problem. If we're just going to go post up over here, probably it's not worth it. Maybe. Alright. I mean, it's so far holding up. Yeah, and. Uh, Knott's is Wi-Fi. I would love to stream at Knott's. Unfortunately, their Wi-Fi is worse than DCA over here. They're, cell, they're cellular. You, you keep confusing Wi-Fi and cellular. Well, the connection to whatever the I'm connecting to is not, the best. is not great. Need to fix <laughs> whatever that. I'm connecting to. We're going to switch over. Got it? Just swapped over. Hopefully the connection is better. Oh, Victoria, I'm having the same issue. No, I mean, I kind of... Yeah, hang in there, guys. We're back. back up here. We're back. We're back. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. This is... You should have asked the, uh, the cashier if you could order the empanada. <laughs> when you bought your pass. You can can I order sandwich. all my food right now? <laughs> uh, Bengali says, Marina, what was your final review of the butter chicken burrito? It was good. It was better with the sauce. There is, a, they give you a little cup of, I don't know if it's parsley and mint, but it was, I put that sauce in there. Oh my man it was good I really liked it all right let's check out the caliente peppers caliente boot let's see how crazy the line is gonna be for this I just heard somebody say it was spicy. Oh, it's not bad. Okay, that's good. Sometimes the pickup line can be longer. It's not bad either. But the chili relleno empanada, this has been Chris's favorite for like three years straight. It's $8.50 if you're buying it individually. It comes with arbol, pepper, salsa, Oaxaca, and cotija cheeses. The empanada is fried to perfection. It's nice and crunchy. The sauce that they put on top of it is very spicy. Um, I will say it's spicier this year than in years past. But Chris loves, loves, loves this empanada. Hope it never goes away. Let's see where he's at in this line. It's not bad. They have four people at a time, four cast members. So they're gonna they're gonna go through this line really quickly. So your other meal is at 7:05, and uh -huh. it's 6:51. Oh, uh, we should be all right. Yeah. Is that the last time we could order? Could you push it back? I think it is. Uh, I could, I think, but it's okay. Yeah, I think we'll still make it. Yeah, we'll still make it because it's still 7:05 to 7:20. Okay. We just have to find a place for you to post up and have signal and all yeah. will get it and bring it back. Jen said, Chris is incredible. He is on a mission. Yes. 
Yeah, when it comes to these empanadas, <laughs> he made sure for our, our first tasting tabs that we saved two because he, he had one off to himself and then Noah and I shared one. All right, guys, remember we have six giveaways to be unlocked, but we need to hit that 300 like goal. We're at 233. We got 308 folks here on the chat right now. Smash that like button. Even if you're not interested in the giveaways, I guarantee you there are people here watching the live stream that would love a chance at winning one of our giveaways. And they're counting on you. <laughs> they are counting on you to hit that like button for them. All right, look at, he's on a mission. Look at Jen. <laughs> he's like bobbing and weaving. Wow, look at the line now for the pickup. Woo! I hope they have, <laughs> I hope they have enough. <laughs> You're way over here at the end of the line. Yeah, should have had you stand over here oh, while I was over there. If I would have thought. I, I would have thought Had I thought about it. It's going quick. Uh, Christian said, hi Chris, how can you enter the park as a cast member on your on your date? Is there a special pass I used? Is he asking? Um, I don't know if he's asking us or somebody in the park, but he says, he says hi Chris. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, how can you enter the park as a cast member on your day? On your day off, you'll have a uh, front gate pass. It'll be with your ID card. You still book a reservation, but for you, it's pretty much good anytime, any day. Yeah. It's when you want to bring a guest in or sign somebody, and is when you there has to be reservations available. Yeah. Hi, Michelle. Hi, April. I have the flu or something, but oh, wanted no. to watch for a little while. Yeah, there's something definitely going around. So stock up on your fluids. Get lots of rest, everybody. Um, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. And hopefully whatever is that's going around, you don't catch it. King Jerry just gifted five more memberships. Oh my goodness, Jen. Jen, 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 Jen. Way, 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 way. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see right. hearts and stars and hugs would, and kisses in the in the I would chat. buy you an empanada right now, Jen. <laughs> I would take you to Knotts. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is going to take you to, take Knott's you to and Knott's. buy you a far better pretzel than you can oh, get here at Disneyland. You know what? I got to agree with you there. <laughs> uh, the recipients of those. Gifted memberships are Michelle Stringer, Christian Ortega, Lizalde, and Rick Rickafort, No Plain Jane, and Brian Disney fan. You guys owe Jen, Queen, J Ray, lots of hugs, lots of stars, lots of hearts. Some napkins? Uh, I can't. I'll get you. I'll get you all the utensils. Yeah, I I gotta agree with Chris on the pretzel situation, though. He'll probably not give me a whole one. He'll <laughs> give me like a half. Oh, 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 oh! Look right here, table right here. Whoop. Oh, look at that. Whoa. These are really crispy, too. Yeah. yeah. They're oh, that's what I came here for. They are. This is my second time. You know what? Not, one of these is not for her. They're oh, both for come me. on. You come get a on. bite. You get a bite. Come you, on. You have a whole burrito coming next to her. Oh, yeah. Oh. This is like our third year. Yeah, they're fantastic. <laughs> I love these. This is the only reason why we come to Food and Wine. <laughs> <laughs> these? Yeah. Well, no, I do love these. <laughs> I do as well, but I do. This is definitely one of my favorites. I'm gonna try these. Mm -hmm. They don't right. seem too difficult. All right. So this is my. Oh, there's no cheese. 
<laughs> there is like no cheese in there. It's like completely hollow. Oh wait, what happened here? There's no cheese in here. At all? Is there literally none? Because if there's none, I'll take it back. It's all smashed up the other side. Oh. Can you fix that? All right. I guess that's what I get. Still good though. <laughs> hmm. All right. I'm gonna steal some cheese. This will make you happy. All right, I stole some cheese. <laughs> mm. We'll definitely need a drink. Uh -huh. Nice and spicy. Mm. Mm. I had some, so good. I had hot sauce last night. Some nuts. I didn't know you gave Walter. Mm -hmm. So Knott's uh, Berry Farm sells hot sauce. They released it for uh, Scary Farm and now some. But it's really, really good. But they have a super hot. Oh my goodness. It was too I hot. I was dabbing stuff and it was, it was hot. Maybe a little too hot. MGLA is asking, how spicy on a scale from one to five? I would say a four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a solid four. Yeah, you have to like spice. Um, when you come to food and wine, nothing inside these booths they say can be customized. You get it as you get it, unless there is a caveat. If you are allergic to something as far as ingredients, they will pull off items. But for the most part, everything comes the way it comes. Yeah, the, when it comes to these, like maybe you're allergic to, maybe you don't like this little green stuff. You can, you know, ask them to leave that off because you're allergic. Wow, Chris, you, know what it is. you killed it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's very happy. <laughs> All right, let's go head over. Let me go eat some more napkins real quick and then we'll go on over. Lenora says, Chris, eat and dance. Dance! Like, like Footloose. It's time to dance! <laughs> Alright, let's head over. Paradise. Paradise Garden Grill. Jen says, I'm a gringo. Spicy ain't my jam. <laughs> yeah, there's a... You know... I don't know if the spice, if the heat is strictly coming from that sauce that they put on top or if it's from the, the peppers inside. It might be a combination of both. Yeah. I'm guessing more than sauce than anything, but I don't know. Yeah, I think so too. Um, uh oh, you got you got somebody on your side with, with knots. Main Street Mad says knots does Halloween better. Disney they does do. the other 364. Let's see if we can find a table. If you guys want, I can post in the community board pictures of Walt Disney coming to coming to Knott's to learn how to properly build a theme park. <laughs> so there are there are pictures. This is true. There are photos. They were friends. They were friends. They had the same name. They're both Walters. Both Walters. <laughs> Although one was Walt, he was the cooler. You can call me Walt. And the other one was very... Walt was older, or Walter was older, <laughs> there's no doubt about that. The other one was very... Uh, by the book, call me my full name, Walter. That was delicious. And don't forget, after we come, after we do this and head back over to Disneyland, we are also going to celebrate a little uh, St. Patrick's Day early. There's oh. a St. Pa Patrick's Day food Saint item available Patrick's already. Day. Hey, got a big old smile, made a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I don't think we can go much further I don't know how before, far before we here. get in trouble. 
with the Wi-Fi God. <laughs> no, we're good. We're good right here. Okay. Cluck a doodle moo. Woo! Someone's little almost took me out. Jen says St. Patrick's Day is my half birthday. What? Yeah, so far, so far we're doing all right. Let's see how far we, how far into the festival beer garden we can go. I think I can tell over here. Mom and pop shop. Ooh, ice cream. See if we can grab a table. My favorite ride. That's your favorite ride, uh huh. Sure. All right, they have some tables right over here, so maybe we'll grab one. All right, we'll grab this table right here. Looks like the Wi Fi is holding. Holding in, holding up. That's uh, loaded for me this pretzel bites. Oh, we, oh is it is it part of the, the I don't know. Uh oh. We might need to try that then. Who's this? Uh, Chris Christian says, Chris, buy some ice cream for your wife. <laughs> you tell him. You tell him. It's date night. He sounds so excited, he does. You have no idea. When, anytime he hears the word carnitas, the ears are like, bing, carnitas? What are you talking about? How do I get me some? All right, guys, do not forget to smash that like button. It looks like we're, what, 40? No, 30, no, it keeps changing. <laughs> Uh, for 300 likes, we are going to be giving away one of these pins. So six of these pins, we're going to pick six winners. Each winner will be able to pick the pin of their choice, of course. When one is gone, it's gone. Uh, but to unlock the giveaway, we need to hit 300 likes. So make sure you smash that like button. Um, even if you're not interested in participating in the giveaway there are people here who are dying to get one of these pins and would love the opportunity and they are counting on you to hit that like button so they have a chance to win this is what they look like we got Mickey Minnie we have Judy Hops Chip Dale and Thumper so this whole set is here available at the park right now for extravaganza 2024 that is happening it started yesterday uh, on yesterday's live we did the whole easter egg hunt so if you're curious to know where those places are it's pretty easy everything is listed on the activity card that you get um, it's ten dollars for the activity card and you get one of these guys on like an ornament hanger so it's very cool for 10 bucks I will tell you this is a much much better deal than years past in the years past we've gotten like plastic Easter eggs so to have something like this that's metal and enamel this is much more quality uh, much more of a quality product than we've gotten in the past and when you redeem it, you can redeem it right up 
front or you can go through the Easter egg hunt and redeem it at the very end. But you have your choice of your, your hanger ornament of any of these characters. But for today, we are selecting, we will be selecting six winners and each winner will be able to select one of their choice. Uh, but you have to unlock it at six, at uh, 300 likes. I'll be back. 300 likes, so we're, we're very close. All right, ooh. Oh, oh. Leslie B says, Dale is so cute on those. He is, his little, his cute little nose. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, game changer. Comes with some salsa verde. These are carnita pretzel bites. You can find these over here by the uh, Paradise Garden Grill, the little cart here. I'll wait, I'll wait for Chris, I'm gonna be nice. I don't wanna be, I wanna eat them right now. <laughs> they smell really good. Uh, Mini Bat says, now I know why he gets so excited. Yeah, we, uh, the carnita pork belly here, that's over by Hollywood Studio. Whew. If you're coming to this event, you have to get it. The um, the mac salad that comes with it, it's a hit or a miss. Uh, it depends on your taste level. If you're open-minded and you like lots of different flavors, that's that's a, a an item you have to get. If you uh, Chris would not like it one because it's it has a mayonnaise-based sauce to it. Oh. 300 you guys hit it all right congrats I'm looking forward to giving these away I bought them yesterday specifically for today to give them away and I'm so happy that you guys unlocked it we're gonna be picking six winners make your choice if, if we select you as a winner you're gonna have 60 seconds to tell us you're here and which one that you want. So pay close attention and make your selection now before we do the giveaway. All right, Chris is here with my burrito. Hi, Eddie. Oh, oh and it comes with chicharrones. And they're just okay. I don't care. I love chicharrones. All right, let me show you guys. All right, so here is my burrito. It is called the Sig Sig Burrito. Look at this little, look at this little fat burrito. Uh, it's leaking on the end. It's gonna be a wet one. I it's gonna be a messy one, and it comes with. Oh, this is interesting. It looks hot. Those are all chili seeds. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been warned that this is really spicy. I'm gonna look it up and see what's Yeah, of it. Jen, this is another one that's not for you. There are serrano chilies on the inside. And it comes with chicharroni. Let's see. Oh. Huh. Mmm. These are good. What okay. are you talking about? They don't have any meat and they're not hot. These are delicious. So this has. Pork, onions, serranos, garlic fried rice, and tomatoes with a side of chicharrones and vinegar dipping sauce. Aww. Oh, we got Susan gifting memberships. What? What is up with everybody? Susan so, Lopez so gifting sweet. memberships to Anofre, Nicole, Vin, uh, V-I-N, and Cassandra and Amy S. You got it. Aw, thank you, Susan. We appreciate your kindness to our community. Our wow. community appreciates that. You showed this and I did. Look at that. Oh, that's <coughs> delicious. It says, it says onion. I don't see any onion, though. Um, maybe, in, maybe in the sauce? Yeah, this is salsa verde. Salsa verde. Maybe it has some onion there. Maybe. I want you to try it. 
Yeah, it's been sitting there for a while, I can tell you that. Oh no, I hope it's good. Oh, it's a big bite. Yeah, let's show Susan some love with some gold stars and gold hearts. Show her our appreciation for her generosity and kindness to the community. Cutting it half for the camp. Hi, TT. Cassandra says, hi, Marina and Chris. Hi, Cassandra. All right. All right. Uh-oh. Here we go. This is the carne asada and pretzel bite. Mm. Is it good? It is. Oh. The pretzel is soft. Like, it's not like the normal Disney pretzel where there's a lot of uh, firmness or a hard pretzel. Okay. This is a very, very, very delicate soft pretzel. Huh. Hi, me, uh, Daniel. It's a, it's like a pretty here. big pretzel bite, here. right? Yeah, I cut that in half. That's half of one. Oh, wow. Oh, it's pretty wow. pretty tasty, isn't it? Wow, wow, I'll wow. You, Disney does a good carnitas. They've done it before. And we this... Sauce is spicy. It's good. Woo! It is good. Mmm. Wow. How big is each piece? Is that a full piece? Yeah. Wow. They're big pretzel bites. Yeah. You're not, not going to want to film this, though. You're going to want to turn yeah, this away. Yeah, I'm going to turn this away because Chris is going to have to open wide. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I'm glad you guys didn't see that. He had like. A big old piece of carnitas hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> it's good, huh? It is. But you have to like... So is this spicy at all? No. No, oh, but I keep dipping it in there, so I don't know. Oh. I'm a... I was never a big... I would never get green hot sauce or green salsa. I would do it if Marina made like... Like crock pot chicken tacos, which is just, you know, frozen chicken breast and salsa birdie there. But I started trying some of the green sauces, and they're they're actually quite good. This one's very good. Hmm. You gotta you gotta set the. Uh, well, listen to this. It's a Spanish version of Hotel California. Okay, my turn. Pretty messy. Oh, wow. I got your knife and fork. It's dri dripping out of the bag. Yeah. It's up to you. Can I have a napkin? <laughs> this is messy. Yeah, it's a pretty wet burrito. Wet inside. Alright. Alright. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna cut it down the center. Hi, candy tea. Let's see. I want to pick it up and show you the inside. Okay. Wow. I'll get more napkins. Oh my goodness. So is there meat in here? Yes, yeah, pork. Okay, so pork and fried rice. Garlic rice. Oh, fried garlic rice. All right. This is going to be messy, guys. Sorry. Yeah. Mm. 
Did you read this? Is it good there? I wish you could try this. Yeah. I'm good. Two on. Wow. Yeah, this is a this is a hit. <laughs> Hi, Fuego. So we hit our 300. Oh, we did. So it's a Filipino dish. Oh. That's what I was just told by, by Bengali. Bengali says, it's another, um, that is the other burrito I want to try. Six Sig is a Filipino dish. Glad it's good. So good. I haven't tried it with the sauce yet. Let's see. Good with the sauce. Even better, I think, with. Hi, Zil. Hi, Tina. Okay. <laughs> this is definitely a shareable dish, for sure. Hi, Ray. I think I'm going to point you guys up. <laughs> Hold on. I'm done. You done? Mm. Very, that sauce very taste. Oh, I got a Serrano. Woo. All right. It's, it's, it's okay. I thought it was going to be like, whoo. Uh, if you point over here, we can talk about knots. Okay. Just kidding. We're not you can talk about something. Oh, let me uh, have a point about me. Yeah. No, I mean like, I mean like, oh. I got it. You need a thing? Let me see. I think it'll be all right. I, I see it. It's going to be all right. There we go. Look at that. You're pointing at your chest. I didn't point at anything yet. Yeah. There we go, guys. Let's see. Let's see. By the way, have you heard anything about Storyteller's Mother's Day brunch? All we've seen is about their Easter brunch. You know, we have not. I have not. Oh, Tina said, it's okay, Marina, we all have to eat. <laughs> 60 goes well with beer, someone said. I just texted a picture of my buddy, my buddy Edmund Arzadon, a Filipino guy. I asked him, uh, told him we were eating it, and he goes, laughing my A off, yes, it's Filipino. He just, uh, for the first time, he speaks the language, but he just spent three weeks in uh, the Philippines for the first time ever with his entire family and extended family. Had a great time. <coughs> so yeah, so once we're done eating here, we're gonna head back on over to Disneyland. We have a reservation to pick up some food between 8.15 and 8.30 before the place closes. We, we can do it when we get over there. We should do it now. Like we should after. do it. The... Oh, we'll okay. see, we'll see. Oh, no, we have not been here all day. We didn't get here until about 5 o'clock, right before magic happens, and that's when we started. I was at work all day. Marina was working on stuff at the house. Chris, you really look good with those glasses on. <laughs> Why, thank you. Why, thank you. I definitely look smart. It's Kathy. I definitely look smarter, yeah. My eyes are, my eyes are going. I ended up, um, today I had to leave early to go to a, a hearing appointment. I'm having a hard time hearing like individuals and crowds and I wasn't sure what it was but I went to the doctor today they did some scans and my left ear I had a punctured eardrum a number of years ago and some of the scar tissue kind of changed the way I hear in that ear but it's going to be fine is what she said so. but I was worried that my hearing was going because my job kind of depends on that a little bit being able to hear 
but Clark Kent, Senator Palpatine said, <laughs> cutest couple ever. Aww. Queen J. Ray says you guys are the cutest couple. Mini Bat says cupid couple ever. Love the energy. Thank you, everybody. We tried. We're just a couple old folks <laughs> who enjoy coming here and talking to people and filming stuff. We, uh, I think Maria mentioned earlier about our our last video, which was uh, Boysenberry Festival. But we've uh, talked about it. We're going to try to film a bunch more videos. Not necessarily always here at the park, but maybe do some restaurants, do some food stuff. Of course, uh, theme parks. We'll be here on Saturday. We don't know if we're going to be filming it all on Saturday. Stop. Not old folks. Well, I am 53, by the way. Um, but still do live. Yeah, of course. We're still going to do lives all the time. But I want to do more videos. I think, uh, you know me, I'm all about the quality of the video, the audio, and we can get that. And I'm super excited because not this weekend coming up, but the next weekend is we will be at Scream Break. Scream Break at uh, Six Flags Magic Mountain. It is their, they did for the first one ever last year, where they kind of combined, combined uh, uh, summer break, spring break, and uh, Halloween. So we get a couple of mazes. One of them is going to be based off of the movie Saw. And then we'll get the traditional frat party one. So we're pretty excited. A bunch of food. They're having a food festival. So I think we've live streamed from there last year, right? We did a vlog. We did a vlog. Maybe we'll try to. Do you guys like Six Flags? Um, Six Flags. Um, I say yes. I enjoy it. The problem is, you guys know I'm a six foot five big dude, and a lot of the rides there don't accommodate me. Uh, the newest rides seem to, like uh, um, Wonder Woman. So I yeah. rode Wonder Woman last time there. I love Six Flags. Yeah, it was a... Uh, yeah, Marina loves it. Marina can ride whatever she wants up there. Still can't get used to, to wearing my glasses. Getting old sucks and something. I, I'm with you, Michelle. I don't mind when I wear them. The problem is <clears throat> I only need them when things are up close. So right now I'm doing it to read the screen, but we're walking around. I have to take them off. Otherwise, I'm going to walk into something. Lord knows I'm going to walk into something anyway. But... um. <laughs> But yeah, so, I mean, I do like Six Flags. It, you know, it's so far away. I've been there so many times. I honestly hate it. Well, just don't go very often. That's what I would say. And if you love Halloween, which you know I do, go during uh, events like this. Last year, their actual Halloween was amazing. It was fantastic. They hired a new guy uh, that took over the entertainment. His first event last year was the Scream Break, and then he took over Halloween. And I don't know how they did, but they pulled off getting the IP for Saw and the IP for The Conjuring. So I can't wait to see what they'll announce this year at uh, Midsummer Scream, which is coming up in June, right? Yeah. Uh, June? June or July? April. It should be April. Spring break. No, uh, when is Midsummer? Or oh, is that what you were thinking? July or August? Yeah, July. I think it's July. It's the same weekend as Comic-Con. Which is a bummer because we got invited to Comic Con this year, so we'll be there. So we have, uh, we'll be here this week. And we have friends coming in. Marina will be here Monday for her live stream. We'll probably come one come one night next week as well and do a live stream together. Then the following weekend we'll be at uh, Screen Break at Six Flags, and then the following weekend is WonderCon. So we'll be at WonderCon at the uh, Anaheim Convention Center, which is the sister show of Comic Con. That, unfortunately, the uh, streaming apparently is very bad in the Anaheim Convention Center, unless they boosted it. But we'll we'll try it and see what happens. We can live stream it. It's a good event for that. But yeah. Um, what else we got going on here? Well, like I said, we'll be able to pick up a, a uh, St. Patrick's Day treat here in a little bit when we get back over to the other park. This is part of the tasting card? It is part of the tasting card. I don't know. So yeah, so the... Uh, the carnita pretzel bites was part of the tasting card, but I did not use it for the tasting card because it's only seven dollars, and and the tasting card can be used on things that are much more expensive than seven dollars. So she asked me if I wanted to use it for both this, and I got a diet coke as well, of course. So I didn't use it on either one of them because it's not a good use of it. Uh, hey, it's, do you guys do SDCC? We did. We did Comic Con last year, which is a little bit of a an odd show because uh, the rider strike was still going on, but we will um, we will be going this year, probably going on Thursday night, the opening night, uh, mainly because Midsummer Scream is the same weekend. <laughs> no, we live streamed last year. 
We did. Yeah. But it was on a Saturday, but it wasn't the same weekend as Midsummer. Uh, Mini Bad is asking, have you guys had the pistachio cheesecake? No, and that's what we forgot to order. We did not, and we heard it was fantastic. We still can. We still can, but we have to go over the other park, though, too. And that actually closes early. I don't think we have time. We're going to be back on Saturday, babe. I'd rather get this than that. We've already had the other one. I would like to have the other things like we, like we agreed to. You have your burrito. You got to eat part of my empanada. And you got some carnitas pretzels. Hey, it's Lisa's. Hey, guys. Yeah. But we will do uh, Comic-Con. He is going to be there for the 29th for Pixar Fest. Yes, we will. That's April. April 29th, yes. We'll be there for that. We have reservations already for the brought back of uh, Fantasmic. We have reservations for the new Star Tours that's opening up, the added content for Star Tours. Who can forget? Oh, yeah, somebody, uh, who was it here? Sandra G just brought up uh, the Haunted Mansion buggy rides. Last, yeah, last year at um, Comic-Con, uh, Haunted Mansion movie was coming out. So Disney hired all these bicycle riders that had, rather than the normal carts that you would sit in, they redid the Doom buggies. You sat inside them, they drove you around the streets for free, and you stopped at certain locations and picked up hitchhiking ghosts that were throughout the neighborhoods of downtown San Diego. Um, Christian just said, be nice, be nice, Chris. Stop yelling at your wife. I'm not yelling at my wife. One thing, Christian Anderson, you have to understand. If I were yelling at my wife, she would not be here anymore. <laughs> I would never yell at my wife. Yeah. Chris's, I, Chris's wife doesn't stand for any of that. She doesn't stand for any of that. No. That's why I don't... Yeah. That's why I love her. That's why I love her. I don't want her to, you know, be do whatever I say. That's no fun. And of all the special events and, uh, and days, what is your favorite... Michelle Stringer, what is your favorite special I Disney event? Like, like after dark? Like the just event. She's just saying. <laughs> I know you are, Christian. I know you are. My favorite event. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> What's on the edge right now? I think um, my favorite time in the park is at night in general. And then Halloween time I do love. I do love, even though there's nothing really scary in the park, I do enjoy Halloween time. It's special events. If we're talking about after dark events, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of burned out because they're nothing are really spectacular. We did have an amazing time at Disney Channel night, and that was because the vibe, the crowd. And we were with people less than half our age, but everybody was having a great time, and it was contagious. Yeah, I love Boogie Boogie Bash. Boogie Boogie Bash is fun. There's no doubt about that. They need to uh, update it and bring in some new characters. I mean, but last year... Yeah. New people every year. Last year, what's your favorite ride and food at Disney? The ride is easy for me. It's Haunted Mansion. Specifically, the attic scene is by far my favorite ride. Peter Pan is my all-time favorite. Peter Pan is Marina's favorite food. Uh, um, the caramel apple. <laughs> so hers, the caramel apple. When it comes to dessert, she loves the caramel apple. My favorite is when they have it as the lemon bar churro, mm -hmm. which they have here in this park sometimes. When it comes to food, it's probably the Beria sandwich at Jolly Holiday when they have that. And then a follow-up close second is probably going to be the chicken at uh, Plaza Inn. At Plaza Inn, yeah. Night and Halloween for me too, says Michelle Stringer. Um, yeah. Marina has finished her entire burrito, and she's eating chicharrones right now. So the chicharrones taste just fine, but if you guys have had real chicharrones where they're still hot, and there's still some, you know, meat hanging off of them. <laughs> it's a little bit different experience than what we're having here at Disney. That would be difficult to pull off. They could, though. You know, I just thought, what else was one of my favorite foods here? Would be the uh, spicy honey chicken. Oh. And uh, macaroni and cheese that they had for Soul Food. That was one of my favorite dishes I've ever had at Disneyland. By far, one of my favorite things. Yeah. You good? All right, I think, guys, we are done here at uh, 
Paradise Garden Grill, and we're going to make our way over towards uh, Disneyland now. I have my sustenance for life, 100%. Tonight's live stream is not sponsored by Diet Coke. But I would love for it to be sponsored by Diet Coke. If you're listening, anybody from Diet Coke, <laughs> I love your product so much. In my garage, I actually have a four-tap dispenser that only has <laughs> Diet Coke loaded in it. The same type you get inside of here at Disneyland or inside a fast food place. I have it in my garage. I bought. I spent $105 on a five-gallon box of syrup today at Costco for business. <laughs> so sponsor one of our videos. <laughs> Send me a shirt. I'll be happy. <laughs> Pay no mind. <laughs> Pay no mind right. to the man sitting over here yeah, wanting the Diet Coke sponsorship. <laughs> oh. And Hi, Mouse Ears Radio. And thank you, by the way, for saying my haircut looked fantastic. I did get a good haircut. He's all, he's all tidy. Sometimes, sometimes it works. All right. Uh, Jen says Diet Coke is awful. Um. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I don't know, Jen. I have to admit, it's pretty Sorry. fantastic. Uh oh, watch out with the cabs. Watch out with the cabs. Uh oh. All right. Are we, um. We're good. We're ready to go? Yeah, I don't know what I was looking at. I was looking at something on my phone to see something important. Oh. And I can't remember what it is. Okay. Oh. My heel. Liz is saying, is this the $12 haircut? This is my $12 haircut. 12, 12 bucks. <laughs> Looks pretty good, huh? Now, the haircut's $12, but I... And I the tip always, is 20 <laughs> I give a whole $20 bill, so I tip very well. And she does it in, like... Can we leave it here? Um, what do you do? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. put it on top? I'll put it on top. Ah, thank you, Tina. She says, I like your ears. So cute. Thank you. I haven't worn these ears in so long. <laughs> they went well with my uh, with my spirit jersey. Spirit jersey. Um, Goofy Sky School. I know. Look at the line for Goofy you Sky School. You don't have school. that sign. It just needs a little fix. You, you can do it. I have that sign exactly. Oh. Oh, you know what we were supposed to do? We were supposed to do the giveaway. Let's do it over there. Let's go on over there. All right. What do you guys think about Goofy Sky School as a sign? Chris says he has the artwork. It has some edits that I need to make before I can uh, put it in a laser and, and cut it. Yeah, that burrito was fire. <laughs> The Carnitas Princess mm -hmm. were good too. The salsa verde was really tasty. Yeah, I'm glad we uh, we opted to come over here for dinner. Listen, I'm glad we walked by that. I wouldn't have noticed that Carnitas <laughs> pretzel bites thing. Jen said, there is a scary ride. Yes, it is. <laughs> you feel like you're going to be flung off the ride. <laughs> Just another ride copied from Knott's. Stop, stop. <laughs> Who's to say Nazis was, was there first? No, I know. There's one at Castle Park, too. And there's one at the Orange County Fair. When yeah. It comes Which is the scariest one of them all. So the entrance still over here for Little Mermaid. It just feels weird. I don't want to enter the Little Mermaid over there. I want to enter it through the big front entrance. Huh. It doesn't look like the line is the line is very long though. People are just walking in. I am full. <laughs> Me too. That burrito was big. That was a big burrito. I'm surprised you killed that. I did. It was good. My my tongue was like, this is delicious. Give me more. Motorcycle chase. Motorcycle chase at Knott's Berry Farm. So I can remember riding that with my grandfather. He, uh, 
it was basically you're sitting on a motorcycle with a leather strap and it did some like angled turns and stuff I literally almost like fell off of the ride my grandfather had to catch me <laughs> yeah literally they shut it down after four years because of it was a little dangerous and uh, the wacky soapbox racers yeah it uh that should have traumatized me but it didn't <laughs> i love the crazy rides the ones that feel like you're gonna fall out Montezuma's Revenge is an amazing ride. I'm sorry you were traumatized on it. <laughs> it makes me feel really better. It was originally going to be called Locomotion. Locomotion. Donatella says yes, it was terrifying. All right. Redwood Creek Challenge is all boarded up. Some construction going on over here. What are they doing in there? Knock on the door. See if somebody answers. <laughs> Look at Brother Bear. There's a new pin with him. Mm. There's an egg. There's an egg? Oh, there is an egg. Yeah, so. The Easter egg hunt. Did you have to go to both parks yesterday or just did it at Disneyland? No, just one. But there's one here as well. Yes. You do that on Monday? Um, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. I did my Easter egg hunt. Hi, Stockton. Yeah, extravaganza. You can do it over at Disneyland. That's what we did on Monday, yesterday. You can do it here at DCA. Yeah. Or you can go to downtown Disney. You don't even have to have a reservation into the park. Just pay for parking. Just, uh, well, or if you have a key. Yeah. Marissa says Montezuma's Revenge was my first roller coaster as a kid. That's a doozy of a roller coaster. Ooh, uh, with the loop in there. <laughs> yeah. Well, it depends. As a kid. It's like the oldest like, running loop coaster. Like 11, 12? Yeah, yeah when, I, when I rode that uh, motorcycle ride at Knott's that almost killed me, I was like six. Yeah. I remember it yeah, being yeah. brand new. And I was a skinny six-year-old. So it was very easy for me to come out of that strap. I remember that ride well. I do too. I almost I, like I almost didn't make it out of the park. <laughs> the, the no ride over there felt more unsafe than the, the sky jump. The parachute ride. Yeah, sky jump. Oh. They said it was it was uh, chest high cages. It was not chest high. You must have been <laughs> chest high for a child. Well, no, because you're six foot five. It was not chest high. <laughs> chest fun, chest high to me is like your waist. <laughs> See, look at the land we're in right now, sweetie. Doesn't this look familiar? Stop. It looks like the Roaring Twenties airfield from Knott's Berry Farm. He is not going to give this up. The roaring Twenties airfield. We had this conversation <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, Knott's had an airfield, the and it went away, yeah. and then look what popped up over here at Disneyland. Mm -hmm. A hangar, an airplane, yeah. Let's see. I mean, think about it. Knott's had the log ride, and Disneyland had Splash <laughs> Mountain. <laughs> Sandra G says the sky jump was terrifying. It was. It was fun, though, but terrifying. Like hanging on to the rail for your dear life. Uh -huh. And then they showed the sky. What was it? The sky... Uh, the Sky Tower, people got stuck up there and they had to repel. Oh, the Sky Cabin, they did. The Sky Cabin, they had to... <coughs> repel down from Repel down. down. Can you imagine? You get Grandma up there in the Sky Tower and she has to repel down? That was crazy. They showed video of that. Insane. Yeah, the guests that had to do that. The stories <laughs> that they have. Yeah, it was crazy. I mean, think about all both these parks, especially Disneyland. There's an entire new city population every shows day. up every single day. Yeah. And just like a city, you have issues, you have problems, infrastructure issues. It's just going to happen. There's no way around it. 
It's how you deal with it in a time of crisis mm -hmm. is all that matters. Vangelises, I remember not had this soapbox race ride. I loved those as a kid. Yeah, so the, the motorcycle ride Marina's talking about was the same ride. Just remove the soapbox racer and put a motorcycle on top that had a very high center of gravity. So the, the soapbox racer used to be the uh, motorcycle race and motorcycle chase. Right. And all that kept you in was the hanging, seat hanging on. So you were sitting on a regular motorcycle uh, seat. Two and people. Yeah, two people with a, uh, a leather strap. Yep, a leather strap. That, that went around both of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, and as a skinny six-year-old, yeah, I almost fell out. It was, it was, it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> well, I'm lying to meet Mickey. 1920s Mickey. Well... I want to say I almost fell out. I did fall out. My grandfather got me. Your grandfather grabbed he you. He grabbed me, yeah. And you're never supposed to tell your mom. No. Because <laughs> grandpa would get in trouble. Yeah, grandpa would get in trouble. It wasn't even his fault. What are you doing taking my child on that dangerous thing? No, she, my mom was there. Oh. She was there with us. She just didn't want to get on the ride. And now you don't blame her. Yeah. Amy says, I love egg hunts. You love who? Egg hunts. Easter oh, egg, egg hunts. hunts. Easter egg ear. hunts. Oh, I'm, I'm talking to your left ear. Your bad ear. My bad ear. Now he has an excuse why I he do. can't hear what I say. But he can't use that excuse. I told him, you can't use that excuse all the time. I can't if you're on my left side of I'm me. like, honey... You need to mow the yard. I do need to mow the yard. I mowed the Honey. backyard. Oh, I gotta take the lawnmower. <laughs> yeah, I always feel bad for the, the horses on yeah. the stagecoach because when they get to that hill. Oh, the incline? Yeah. Well, no, they have to get running fast, but they do kind of give them a, a little swat on the butt, and I'm like, don't do that. Yeah, they get treated super well, just like you. They get treated super well. I know. I just, I know. I would be okay if the stagecoach went away. I think I think it's all okay. Yeah, I don't I don't like animals being used for entertainment purposes. They don't have a choice. Well, they do that here too. Yes, but I've seen how they treat the horses here, oh. and they never they never whack them on the butt. They time to a pole and, and time out. It's called the patience pole. <laughs> They put them in timeout, though. It's called a patience pull, and there is no smacking of the bootay on the patience pull. Not that we saw. Here you go. <sighs> Let's go over here. I love it when people jump in front of you. <laughs> Thank you. Michelle says, what ride are you guys headed to? Whatever ride has a short line. That was not very nice. No, it wasn't very nice. We were right there. I don't know right it was on there. purpose, but as soon as they realized it, they should have slipped that around and let us go first. That would have been the point. <laughs> Not everybody's up. I'm like, hello, I'm here in line, and hello. Oh. What's wrong? I was getting the... Uh, Transmission? Yeah. That shouldn't happen here unless you're still on Wi-Fi. You might want to turn it off. I on. don't know. Because you don't have a problem. You just turn off your, turn off your Wi-Fi. Take a look. Go from one, it looks like. one part to the next. I want to get on a ride. Can you check rides? Yeah. Hi, Mando. Let's see here. And I see Mando because of Star Wars. <laughs> is it Mondo or is it Mando? It's Mando. I love this. I love this view. 
I wonder if they increased the prices on those. They used to be 18. So Big Thunder's down. Big Thunder's still down. Yeah. Wow. In these 70 minutes. Because nobody can get on Big Thunder, so <laughs> they want to throw a ride. Who is Tim? Bobsleds are down. Matterhorn is down. Jeez. Charges 25, Peter Pan's 35. Pinocchio is 15. It's the winner so far. All right, let's go check out Pinocchio. And then maybe head on over to uh, Winnie the Pooh and whatever other rides we can find that have short wait times. Pretty crowded over here too. <laughs> and we're just on Main Street, so this is the comings and the goings. Space Mountain is 90 minutes. Not if you do single rider. Rise is 150 minutes. Rise? Uh -huh. Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours for rise? Yikes. And is Lightning Lane even available? Nope. nope. So it is sold out for the day. Wow. <laughs> well, I like I like that. Well, we don't know because we can't, we're not looking behind us. I'm just looking this way. <laughs> no. We're walking that way. But you don't know how many people are walking in unless you have. Eyes behind the oh, back yeah. of your well, head. I'm just looking at least ahead of us. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're headed to where? Pinocchio first? Yeah, I think so. Alright, Fantasyland it is. What about like Astro Blasters? Oh, I think it was 35. Refresh it. Uh, 30 minutes for Astro Blasters. 30 minutes. Casey right. Jr. is 30 minutes. Gadget Coaster is 30 minutes. No more filming on that, so you couldn't do it anyway. Um, they've kind of loosened up a little bit on that. Depends on the cast member. Spooky bases. The parks are so busy. It is. It's spring break here, so all the kids. You need, you gotta keep them busy. What's the best way to keep them busy and tire them out? Go to Disneyland. Although, you'll tire out long before they do. Thank goodness for, uh, it's a small world and the train, you can catch a nap. Just like this. And maybe we'll do this. We'll head all over to Red Rose Tavern, do the giveaway. We can sit inside. Oh, nice. And then have our dessert and see what we do from there. All right. Giveaway. It looks like the giveaway is coming up right after we get on an attraction. Hi, guys. Ride around, ride around. Thank you guys for joining us tonight on this Disneyland Resort date night on a Tuesday. Is it cold? It's brisk. It's nice. It's oh. nice and chilly. We're moving a lot. I have a my ton of food, so. I have my puffer jacket on, and I'm not feeling a thing. I'm wearing my stretchy pants. Your stretchy I pants. Should be wearing my stretchy pants. <laughs> uh, Jennifer says the school that I work at, their spring break is the first week of April. Oh wow! So a whole month later, or two weeks later. Yeah, that's the thing with spring break here at the park it uh it goes on forever because yeah. our local schools and then all the out-of-state schools and people bring their kids for that so it yeah it goes on for a while peter pan bustling as always i know very busy um snow white the cube the queue does come out.
Peter Pan's it's a long ride and it's not even a long ride, it's not even that good. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's the best ride. Are you sure this is 15 minutes? I don't know what it says. It could be long. And Casey Jr. is what? Mm, Casey Jr. is. Michelle says shorts and a, a singlet here in Australia. All right. Let's see how quickly this goes and if that 15 minute standby wait time actually is correct. 35, let's see. Just 15. 15, that's a lie. Well, I don't know if it's a lie yet. We'll see. Let's see. I think I can set a... Uh, Timing should be good. We'll have to head right over there because our food is 8.15 to 8.30. I think it closes at 9. The last pickup was 8.15 to 8.30. Hmm. Should we have We are very close. This one moves quickly. Um, it should move pretty quick. See if we can see jingles. Jingles? See if you can hear the dirty word. You can hear the dirty word. Yeah, they do, they do curse on here, which is very, very odd. Melissa says, I'm going to say about 20 minutes. Yeah, we've been we've been in the line for what? Three, three, or, three or four minutes already? It's not, it just goes around and comes back in. So. Yeah. Uh, Michelle says, any hidden Mickeys in Pinocchio? There, there is. Yeah, there is. Um, but it happens so fast. I want to know how many light bulbs are on this carousel and who's in charge of the light bulbs. There are a couple in this ride. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm looking for something. Can't find it. What of the secret? There's a couple of hidden Mickey's. Hidden Mickey's? There's one on the popcorn machine. There's one where you have the mural of the, you know, the fairy. One of the little sparkles of the hidden Mickey. There's a few of them in there. Pinocchio's Daring Journey. The shortest line in the park, so says the app. It was this and who was 15 minutes. And Winnie the Pooh. Oh, so they came in at a tie. Look at this. Still contemplating whether or not to do this sign. Yeah, I don't know that it's that. I mean, I trust me, you know me, I love obscure signs like the green dragon and things like that. The I like great it. stromboli. I haven't done the, uh, added the little, uh, the little firefly things to the, to the round circles on the edge of it. Oh, you <laughs> When I did my haunted shack sign, though, it's going to take so long. <laughs> Your haunted shack? That sign just looked like a piece of, like a piece of wood that had a, somebody take a spray can to it. <laughs> 
Look, I love that. Loosely painted. There should be a puppet show happening right here. I'll see you under the wishing star. Hola, para su seguridad, permanezcan sentados y mantengan las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del vehículo. Y les ruego a los mayores. Mike says, can you do the Winnie the Pooh sign? Robin loves Winnie the Pooh. You know what? I haven't... I've looked at it, and I think it's something that we... Yeah, I, think I think so. we can do it. I think so. Um, I think so if I can do... Mike, if I can do these... Yeah, if I can do these, I think I can do... The Hello, Winnie the Pooh sign. This is Jiminy Cricket with a few yeah. safety reminders before so you So I just completed Remember these. These are all four hands, arms, feet, and legs inside. of the birds oh, inside the tiki the room, children. all sitting on the one branch. Well, but then, oops. Like your on the way. But then I also the decided I was going to do them singles yeah. where they're sitting on their own perch. Yeah. Yeah, so I think if I can do these, I can I can most likely do a Winnie the Pooh sign. Yeah, it it's gonna take me a while to to get it together. I took like how many days? Too many. <laughs> Too many. Yeah, it was several days. I don't know if you can see that mural, you probably can't see it through the exit. Look at the blue ferry. There's okay. A, there's a hidden mechanic. On the way on the way out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to see it. Yeah, and the unless we get stopped right there. The car goes by so fast. Uh Nana Mickey says, Do you think you might do uh, a castle sign? Um Chris, how is your castle sign going? I know you said you you I were. I haven't loaded. The other reason I didn't because you need like three shades of pink and three shades of purple. And oh. I used to go to uh, the hardware store. Yeah, I did a castle sign. Did I take a picture and send it to you? <coughs> that one took a long time to do because it's hand painted. Um, <coughs> I need to box those up and send them to a few people <laughs> that I promised them to. Alright, I'm aiming you guys up because there are littles here in the Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway. Yeah. I can't wait for Chuby to show up. I'm gonna put that on a shelf. This? Yes, look at this guy. This is the, look at how big Chuby is. This is the popcorn bucket that is arriving here on the 19th. Chuby. Uh, Sandra says some teacup signs. Yeah, no sign? teacups. Huh? I could do, oh yeah, I could do teacups. The teacups should be kind of, kind of easy. Yeah, but it's way... It's one of the little sparkles, little sparkles to the right of her. Oh, no, no. I can't see that far. Okay. I was looking at the Geppetto. Tracy D. Tracy D says, I need that popcorn bucket. I do, too. I got my reservation. I, that's a Tuesday. I'm streaming on Monday. We'll go take a look, see maybe by chance. They never arrive early. That's one thing we do know. They never arrive early. But I will be here the next, the following morning, getting my stuff and heading out of the park. Sandra G says, would be, would be cute for the kitchen wall. Gail says, yes, teacup sign. 
looks like there are cars on the way. If you need anything, just whistle. Michelle says I might have to get that one. Uh, Michelle is asking, what is my favorite sign? My favorite sign is this one. Although the last surfboard at the very bottom is not completed in this photo, but the one I have at home is totally completed. That is my crown and glory. I'm Time. Let's go fast. Let's go over to right. <clears throat> wow, that was very quick. Yeah. Want to go inside so we have better lighting? Um, we can. Let's see what's like. Probably not very busy inside this way. It's just everything looks so yellow. Hi guys. Outside? Oops, sorry. <laughs> library, we can sit oh, all right. In we go. Bell's Library. Mustard alert. 
<laughs> Where's a mustard mustard alert? Mm. All right. That's a good look at? Yeah, so far so good. All right. Look at hosts and hostess only. Look at this. These chairs are made for king and queen. All the cute stuff in here. Um, right here. It's fine. Uh, Michelle says, and it was so ar arl yellow. <laughs> In the room, in the white room with the red curtains. Yeah. Are we ready? Um, Chris is setting some stuff up. Um, you have the. Yes, it's nice. Okay. All right. So the giveaway for today, guys, we're gonna pick six winners. Each winner is gonna be able to pick their own pin, of course. When one pin is gone, it is gone. So take a look. We have Mickey, Minnie, we have Judy Hops, we have Chip, Dale, and Thumper. So the way this is gonna work is one, you do have to be subscribed. It takes five minutes from the time that you hit the subscribe button until you can actually comment inside of the chat and you do need to comment with a hashtag in the chat. So once we pick our winners, each winner will have 60 seconds to let us know that you're in the chat. So within the same comment, we need for you to say, I'm here, and which of these pins, these are all Disney pins, that are here in the park for the extravaganza 2024 that's happening this right now. Okay, does everybody get it? We're gonna pick a winner. We're gonna pick a winner. The person who we pick within 60 seconds, we we oh we will we the rules then. yeah yeah we will um, put up the rules. But once we pick a winner, the winner will have 60 seconds to comment, and the comment needs to be I'm here, and which character they want. Everybody get it? I hope everybody gets it. Let me give you the rules. Again, you must be subscribed to the channel in order to participate. Again, you'll have 60 seconds to enter in the hashtag. You'll see a comment in the chat from Chris with the exact hashtag that you need to type in. Only enter in that hashtag once. If you enter in the hashtag more than once, the app that we're using will disqualify you and throw both of your entries out. So only enter in that hashtag one time. If you are selected, this is very important, as, the, as one of our winners, you must identify yourself in the chat within 60 seconds. On the same comment, say, I am here and which character you would like. If we don't hear from you in 60 seconds, we will pick another winner. Once we select all of our winners, we will give you information to collect your prize. Uh, the very last line here is our email address of the way you need to contact us via email. I think we're, I think we're good. The rules have been explained. Okay. Take me 40 seconds to set it up. Okay. And again, these are the pins that you'll have to choose from. Mickey, Minnie, Judy, Chip, Dale, and Thumper. Isn't this where we picked up the poison apple in this, this room? This is where we picked up the poison apple. So they just apple. totally gutted it and yeah. put this to it. Yes. That's, <coughs> that's what they do. Rachel says, those are so cute. Yep, and for a limited time until egg extravaganza is over, you too can pick up a whole set of six for $35 if you are interested in picking these up. They are really, really adorable. But if you want to do the extravaganza, the Easter egg hunt, it's $10, it's $9.99. 
As soon as you walk into the park, if you go to the library stable, there's a couple of different locations as well where you can get your activity card for $10. And then with that, you can claim your prize. And it's basically one of these pins, but they put them, it's a like an ornament style hanger. So it's not a pin, but a hanger. So it comes with a little, a little strap. Hi, Dee. So we'll be picking six winners. Yep. I'm ready All right. Are. All right. Let's go. And again, you guys, 60 seconds on the clock. I'm going to put it up already. So when you do your first, when we claim our first winner, they'll have 60 seconds to say, I'm here. And within the same comment, I'm here and which character? All right. All right. It is hashtag, hashtag beast. B E A S T. Since we're in. Since <laughs> so we're in Bell. Did Make you put sure it in the sure. chat? I did. All right. Let me Hashtag see if beast. Working. And six two. winners. We'll pick Boom, six winners. There we go. Good luck to everybody. I just started it, so we're going to get a little extra time to enter. Green too? A little bit? A little green, yeah. Yes, only one keyword, only one hashtag. If you entered it more than once, the app considers that cheating and it kicks you out. Secret stuff in there. Secret stuff? It's gonna be secret stuff in there somewhere. Hot in here. There's a screw stuck through that box, which is really weird. I can see the Phillips head on that. Oh. Just the <laughs> lock things. That's weird. Yeah. yeah. You wanna make sure you're not making off with any of their no, stuff. No, but it's just a weird place to put it. It's oh. through the front of it. So I can obviously see it. Okay. No more. Choose, Chris. Pick, pick, pick. All right. Number one. Winner number one. 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Winner number one will have their choice. You see it? Oh, Debbie B. <coughs> Debbie B has one. Debbie B, 60 seconds. Are you here, Debbie? We need to. I'm here, Thumper. Thumper. Thumper for Debbie. All right, Thumper is off the board. Debbie B, congratulations. We got five more to go. We're taking them off. All right, this is what we have left. Who's winner number two, Chris? Who's? Winner number two. Is it? RQ? RQ. RQ, are you here? You have 60 seconds. In the same comment, let us know you're here and which of these five. Come on, RQ. I'm Come here, on. Chip, please. Chip. Chip goes away. Congratulations. Chip is off the board. But why Chip? What is it about Dale you don't like? <laughs> <laughs> All right, winner number three. All right, winner number three. Oh, I think we have some gifted memberships. What? I think so. I think Debbie gifted memberships. Oh, we have a winner too. To, oh. Monica C is the winner. Monica C. Monica C, are you here? If you are, let us know in a single comment you're, that you're here. I'm and here, Mickey, please. Mickey goes to Monica C. Debbie B, thank you so much for your gifted membership. And remember, all of our members 
Get an extra entry. Get an extra entry. So maybe all these folks who are gifted memberships today could win. Yeah. Get extra entries. All right. Huh? Winner all right. number four. Winner number four. Oh, Brie. Brie. Brie, are you here? Let us know in the chat you're here and which of these three. Are you here, Brie? Which one? The clock is ticking. Who do we Brie? got left? We got Minnie. Minnie, Judy Hops, and Dale. Come on, Brie. Oh, I'm here. Which I'm one do you want, Brie? In a single comment, guys, I need to know you're here and which character? Dale. Dale. You need to send this to your All right. Dale is off the board. Yeah, we need so we to have... we need to close the transaction within sixty seconds. And so I we... say and I say that because if you say I'm here, the clock doesn't stop. stop. <laughs> yeah, let us know everything within yep. sixty seconds. All right, next Winner number five. Winner number five. We have Judy Hops. Corky. Corky. Wait, is it Corky? I didn't see it. Yep, Corky A. Okay. Yeah, sometimes Nightbot does its thing, so we need to make so this sure. This is Minnie, and who's the other guy? Uh, Judy Hops. Judy Hops. Corky A, are you here? Debbie bowled a two ninety nine tonight. <gasps> oh my oh gosh. Oh my gosh. The last strike she left the pin hanging. What what was left? The seven or the the seven, the ten? What was left, Debbie? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Can that's amazing. Corky A, Minnie, please. Minnie. Mia is doing incredible. All right. Last pin of the night. Judy Hobbs. She's the bunny. She's the bunny wabbit for the extravaganza. And the winner is... <laughs> VN. Or v Vi -N. Vi N. Sorry for sorry for butchering that. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Vi N, are you here? You got Judy Hops. As long as you're here. You get Judy. Are you here? Let us know you're here. She goes, I'm here. Okay. Congratulations to all of our winners. Oh, it's Very v. Right on. v. To all of our winners. Very important. Please take a screenshot of this screen. You have 24 hours to claim your prize. We need an email from you by 8.30 tomorrow evening. Please only contact us via email. It is the only way to claim your prize. Our email is listed here in red. <coughs> at It's giveaway at thewalkerchronicles.fun. F-U-N. Please pay close attention to that. It is not .com. If you send it to the wrong email address, um, we're not going to get it, and it, unfortunately, we can't make accommodations for sending it to the wrong email address. So please pay attention to that. Please include your first full first and last name, your YouTube handle, your mailing address, a U.S.-based only, 48 contiguous states, no APOs. If your address falls outside of that spec, please, and if you know somebody here in the U.S. that we can send it to, we will send it to them on your behalf. Uh, once we get all that information, we will pack it up, send you the tracking information, but please note we are not responsible for lost, stolen, or damaged packages, or if you gave us an incorrect or an insufficient mailing address. She left the five pin. That's the pin right in the middle. Right in the middle of the pack is the oh, five. Oh, wow. One, is two, that a hard three, one to four, leave? Five. They usually leave a seven, yeah. a ten, a yeah. nine, something. Yeah. So, yeah. Chris, yeah. Chris lived his life in a bowling alley, kind of. Yeah, my first job ever was at a bowling alley. And so, he, he's a very good bowler, or at least he used to be. I used to be. <laughs> so, we used to go bowling almost yeah. every Sunday for a long time. Yeah. And then somebody broke into Marino's car and stole our bowling balls and our shoes. And our sh they stole all of our equipment. Yeah, it was very annoying. Yeah, I was getting pretty good, too. You were. No, we were having a really good time. Yeah. All right, so what is on for dessert, Chris? It is a little bit of St. Patrick's Day. It is the, the green, green stuff. stuff. So you can see it's got little four-lip clovers on it. Let's see. Let's get a... 
get a good look at this. So this is all whipped cream, of which Chris hates whipped cream. It's not whipped cream. It is whipped cream. This is whipped cream. Inside there's cake. Inside there's cake, and there's usually like a piece of fruit, like a raspberry or something way up at the top. This is kind of like a multi-layer dessert, even though it looks like just one big dollop of whipped cream and a cookie. Yeah, and the cookie. And I think there's a chocolate wafer at the very base of Maybe, the whipped cream. Yeah. There is a, it's not, it's not uh, buttercream frosting. That would be ridiculous. It was just straight up Oh my God. Can you imagine if that was buttercream? Yeah. But it is, you know, for St. Patrick's Day. I don't know if they have other things. We didn't go inside the candy palace to see if they're selling treats yet. Yeah. Well, they're selling Easter treats. Right. So this is a little unique that they actually are selling a St. Patrick's Day treat. On. Yes. So that's only, why I ordered it. That's only, the only reason. Only because St. Patrick's is, uh, it comes and goes so fast. And it's battling Easter. And Easter is the bigger holiday here. I don't know. I think I like leprechauns more than bunnies. All right. Did you uh, dig into the, no. the center? No. Is it minty? A little bit, but there's some type of cream in it. <laughs> Let's see. That tastes totally different. Cut it open. I did. Yeah, it's, it's tasting like a thin mint... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is. But wait till you try it. You'll see what I'm talking. It must just be the. So that that this mousse hole, is really good. It looks like a hole. That's actually chocolate cake. And then down at the bottom of the dollop is a. It should be a cookie. And then there's like a uh, sugar cookie down at the bottom. Yeah, try it. I want to see where the. Uh, you should have cut it in half. Cut it in half. I think there is a uh, raspberry or something. Usually there is some type of a uh, piece of fruit. Maybe not this time. Did they omit the, the no, fruit? No fruit in there. No fruit. Ah. See, well, that is a lot of frosting. Wow. Or a lot of. It's like a mousse. Yeah. It's not whipped cream though. Hmm. Try it. Here. <laughs> Michelle says, what you got against bunnies? Asking for Roger <laughs> Rabbit. <laughs> you going to try some? Uh, I will try some. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Let's it is see. kind of minty. Let me see. Aaron says, looks so dang good. I have a feeling it's going to make my mouth green. It's going to make your tongue green. Right. Your green. tongue and your teeth. Yeah. Your legs. Everything's going to be green. Oh, gosh, your ears are so cute, says Debbie Bean. Ah, thank you. It's actually quite good. It's better than I thought it was going to be. Mm. Mm. See? That's tasty. It's not ridiculously sweet. Not ridiculously sweet. Oh. Not ridiculously minty either. No, but you'll, you'll taste a little yeah. bit of thin mint at the end. There is a, I'm going to call it a flavor ribbon <laughs> that just kind of, woo. A flavor ribbon. It's a flavor ribbon. It's a flavor wave. Ride the wave, baby. Ride, Ride the, the flavor wave. wave. Ride yeah, the flavor wave. I'm going to let you have it all. Yeah, I'm not going to eat much more either. What? You wanted this. I could have been having a pistachio cheesecake. Yeah, but that's not uh, St. Patrick's Day. I've been having a pistachio cheesecake. This is unique, though. I don't know if anybody else. We've, ha we've had this before. No, we we've had. We've had the green stuff before. No, we've had the gray stuff. We've had the green and stuff. And the blue stuff and the red I, stuff. Okay, the I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and find the post or the <laughs> the video that we did that shows that we did this before. I know it's been a couple of years, but we did it. Before. Stop singing that song. Christmas is over. What does that mean? What Christmas song are we playing? I don't know. Um, Aaron says, I'm not a huge mint chocolate fan, but it still looks good. Yeah, I'm not either. Like when it comes to people who say that their favorite ice cream is chocolate, chocolate chip, mint, chocolate mint chip, whatever it's called. Hmm? Yeah. No. I do like Andy's candies, though. Those little candies Andy's that you, mints? Andy's mints that you get at like uh, Olive Garden when you leave, those I like. 
um, D says, so is the green stuff delicious or should we ask the dishes? <laughs> Let's see. All the dishes are in the other in the other room. We're in uh, Bell's we're in library. Bell's library. Try the cookie. Yeah, I know. How's the cookie? It's just a sugar cookie. Mm. Yeah. Just okay? <laughs> You're like, there's something there. There's something weird about it. Is it like a like a green tea, like a Earl Grey tea? Yeah, there's some there's some flavor. To yeah, it's, not it's a, a fan. it's an Earl Grey tea. Yeah, no, cookie. I'm, a, I'm good with this now. <laughs> no, you're like I just need to wash. I need to wash the flavor out of my mouth. Zaywap says I love the Andes chocolates. Of course, me too. I always, Andy's I always steal Chris's. Yeah, in certain restaurants to give them to when you were done. Yeah. I think Alfie's used to do it. The Olive Garden, I think, still does it. Is it? Yeah. Who in the who in the who in the chat remembers Alfie's? <laughs> Nobody. It was a restaurant owned by Alpha Beta. Hmm. And it was delicious. We went every Sunday after church, and I had fish and chips with mashed potatoes, and I'd dig a little well mashed potatoes, put some butter in it, and then dip my fish and chips in the butter. Ooh, it was good. Just like a five-year-old would do. You know what? I was probably a <laughs> probably seven-year-old. Aaron says, maybe it's, it's there to balance out the sweetness. Well, the piece I had was mainly cookie and not anything else. Yeah. Michelle says, get the pistachio cheesecake as a palate no. cleanser. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the way to the other part. Yes, well, let's go. No, I think we're okay. <clears throat> we still have like an okay. hour, an hour and a half before the park closes. I still have a chance. I get? I still have a chance. How much sleep did I uh, did I get? Not last, but the night before I got three and a half hours of sleep. What did I get last? You're fine. Uh, no, I'm tired. <laughs> You're fine. Let's see here. <laughs> I gotta go. I, uh, 86. Cassandra so says, but she won't discover that it's him until chapter three. Oh, it's part of the song, Chris. You won't remember. Oh, I was really talking about it. <laughs> Ooh. Why do these books not have any names on them? Um, that one does. King Henry, the the eighth. Why is it the only book that has a name? Uh, I don't know. So there's something. Well, some over there do. Yeah, those have names on them over there. Yeah, but that's what they said. I don't want to. Yeah, I. Michelle says, I want pistachio cheesecake, but I want to drizzle it with boysenberry honey. Boysenberry <laughs> honey? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow I'll. I'll go to Knott's for lunch. What do you do with the lighting? What does lighting do? Um, th they put on shows. <laughs> hit it, Chris. It's hit it, Chris. <laughs> it's your time to shine. And a five, six, seven, eight. There's got to be something special. And if there's not, shame on Disney. Oh, Stop. It's fine. You can't build a room like this and not put something special in here. Have you been on Mr. Toad and seen how many special things? I know. There's so many special things. Michelle likes thin mint cookies. Isn't that... So do I. Girl Scout cookies are done, right? <coughs> no. They were at the grocery, well, they were at the grocery store last weekend. I didn't, huh. buy, I didn't buy any at all this year. Killing it. You turned away those little girls? They didn't even ask. Oh. I think they could tell I didn't need them. <laughs> Donna, so sell you cookies, but you don't really need them. Donatella says, boysenberry honey. Yes, I put it on my oatmeal every day. Boysenberry honey. You've you know, been going all your life without boysenberry honey. I know, and we were at Knott's last weekend. They sell, so obviously you guys know the Smucker's uh, boysenberry jam or jelly is gone. They stopped making it. Yeah. So Knott's is selling their own brand. The problem, it was $12 for a jar. Oh, I know. And it was a small jar. And as much as I love knots and love boysenberry, I'm not spending $12 for a jar of jelly. <laughs> hey, if you watch uh, the Housewives of Miami, one of the housewives is trying to sell jelly for like $30 a jar. It's made out of, <laughs> it's made out of her it's, tears. No, it's Martina Navratilova's girlfriend. She has a farm. 
and she wants to sell you a jar for $30. Isn't that crazy? Yes, yeah, that's crazy. She said the most expensive jam she has found online because she was doing research was $50. It was made from... from... Uh, From 50 bucks. unicorn tears. <laughs> unicorn tears. <laughs> All right, let's head out of here. All right. Let's let's give uh, some other folks a hey, chance to get into Bell's library. Not too much left in the stream. Monica C says, when Tangled came out, they had a meet and greet for Rapunzel and Flynn Rider in this room. Hence the lights. I wonder if she the books uh, says, I think this is the last week for JSCs. All right, we headed out. Mike, Mike said, did this room used to be Geppetto's toy store or something similar? This, this restaurant, yeah, this used to be Geppetto's um, Marty and Pris says, the boysberry honey is delicious. I used it in a barbecue sauce recipe. A while back. Awesome. Maybe I'll pick some up tomorrow. A Debbie B says like splash water mountain for sale. <laughs> Can you believe that people were selling splash mountain water? Who knows if it was actually splash mountain water? Hey, Mr. Slash. It's in German. It's in German. Speaking Sie Deutsch. Huh, Chris? <laughs> huh, Chris? Speaking, it's not the bottle house. <laughs> Speaking, see Deutsch. All right. What is the? Uh, let's yeah. Let's look at ride time. Uh, well, since we're here, it'll probably be faster just to walk to Mr. Toad. Let's check it out. Oh no, I think Shadow's not feeling well. Uh oh. How does that look? That doesn't look so bad. Alright, Mr. Toad. Yeah. And is Big Thunder Mountain still closed? Can't hear you, baby. Big Thunder Mountain still closed? Yeah, the last couple of times I've tried to get on this ride, it's been down. So I'm determined. I want on. I thought I heard you say No, no, no. Just, just, just it's stupid streamers. If we did anything to her at all. Robert says, someone woke up in a foul mood. JGS is rude. Uh, she's uh, streaming live on YouTube. Frankie's bride is like, rude people. Yeah, we'll, we'll put a face. We'll put a face to the comment in a minute. That one right there. D says, I left for a minute. What happened? 
nothing worth mentioning, or I should say, no one worth mentioning. Yeah, most of the queue is is open, so it should be. We should go pretty quickly. This one right here. You called me stupid. What do you want me to say without doing anything? <laughs> no, I tried to apologize. <laughs> There's no need to. You didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. If you don't do anything wrong, no need to apologize. Yes, Cassandra, always choose kindness. Finally get to get on this right after days. Exactly. Exactly. Ah, oh, thank you, Cassandra. We appreciate that. Yes, Liz, I agree a hundred percent. I want to eat some of that cake in there. I don't What's know if you, the cake. The cake in the window? The unbirthday cake. Yeah. Kathy says, not worth it, Chris. I know someone just no, like that. No, I know. And I originally snapped when I felt bad, so I apologized. Yeah. Well, no, she she attacked she first. She stupid, I know. She attacked first. Uh, Michelle says, Chris, you seem to be the fine uh, to like finer details of things what's your favorite Disney detail in the park probably the stuff they used to do more so like embedding little things in all the rides and this ride's kind of a perfect example of that if you go into Mr. Toad you look at all the books and all the shelves they're all themed towards the rides there are just details everywhere that I think a lot of the imaginers used to put into rides but they may not do so much anymore and I think they're just the little hidden details there's Areas they let uh, designers thing put their names on things. You'll find hidden signatures in certain places at the park, like all the team that worked on Phantasm because it's on the inside of the uh, uh, basin of the uh, uh, rivers, rivers of America, America yeah. one of the stones. So it's all the little things that they let people do that way, which I think is, uh, I think it's just a very nice thing to do. But some of these classic rides just have really cool stuff built into them. I think that's one of the best things I like about this. The theming is what you get. Yeah. Debbie says, yummy cake and ice cream. All right, let's see. Zaywap says, truth, big boo. Oh, the treehouse is a great one. So, yeah, if you look at the treehouse, especially if you're a fan of the Sea Organization, yeah. everything down to the handwritten letters you find on... Uh, on the desk, if you zoom in on, there's details discussing other sea members that you can relate to other things in the park. There's a reference to a sea member in the Jungle Cruise on that ride. It's just amazing. Just amazing. Yeah, like where we were just in, right? What's that? Bell's Library. I mean, they didn't yeah. have they didn't have to do no, all that story. with 
But that's why I was hoping there was something hidden inside there, yeah. something unique. Yeah. And I don't there might be, I just have no idea. We didn't spend enough time looking at it. Well and it's like Red Rose Tavern if you're sitting there and there's the tea there's Mrs. Potts. There's yes. all the dishes. All the dishes, yes. All the cute little details. From like the buildings and stuff, like Peter yeah, Pan. Yeah, Peter Pan. It has all those little symbols and stuff that yeah. you find within the queue. Well, what's crazy is that's not the way this place was designed originally. Right? No, <laughs> this had a basic facade. To yeah. It. And well, then some of them. Fantasy Land, some of them didn't even. Did it all. Some yeah. of them didn't even have facades. Correct. They just had a sign. Yeah. Front. So when they redid it to make the outside look as good as the inside of the rides, I think that was what the '80s when they did all that. Yeah. Michelle says, I wouldn't be able to see those details if it weren't for the video. Uh, can't go up there in a wheelchair. No, no, I so hear there's you that. Said. Yeah, I thought re them redoing. Well, isn't there. Isn't there um, an elevator there now, right? Which one? In the treehouse? I don't. I thought they, I they made it ADA compliant now. I actually don't know. We'll check in on that, Michelle. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think there's not, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I remember when they, they were doing the renovation, they were talking about making it ADA compliant. And I think the trunk of the tree now is an, is an elevator. I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> That's such a massive undertaking. Uh, Michelle says, I was wondering about chair access to the tree house. I use the chair too. <laughs> yeah, we'll find out about that. I don't know if it'll be on this on this stream. Um, but maybe we can walk over there. It says guests must be ambulatory. Guests may remain in wheelchair ECV. Yeah, see? They, they can remain. Well, this is... It's listed on the app that guests may remain in a wheelchair EVC. Yeah, I've never seen the door open. But I remember there being, it looking like there was a a door. <laughs> What's going on, Dee? Oh my god! <laughs> what happened? Michelle says, I love the colors of Dumbo at night. Can you imagine if this was Disney World? Having two Dumbos? That would be such a quick load. It takes a long time for them to load and unload and that, that line is often very long. Frankie's right says, Peter Pan, so much beauty and magic when you're going through it. But if it breaks down and the lights come on, yikes. You know what? I've never been in there when it breaks. Which one? Peter Pan. No, but I've heard people. <clears throat> I've seen photos of the inside of it with the lights on. Yeah, like just the... clouds are just crumpled up paper. Uh, it doesn't look... It, the illusion is lost with the lights on. Completely. Yeah, the city, though, when you're flying over <laughs> London... In the in the the darkness, it's just amazing. Gail says 4 a.m. comes around way too soon. Good night, all. Good night, Gail. Thank you for joining us tonight. You came along with us on our date. Oh yeah, space rockets. Frankie's bride. Oh, and the past space rockets forgot what they were called. What they were called, so cool. 
Yeah, they're still under construction for refurb, that whole area. Yeah, the Astro Orbiters. Astro Orbiters. Yeah. It used to be cool when you were up on top of the uh, Galactic Grill. I know. You had to take that, well, that little elevator. The, uh, yeah. On top of the Black Grill, on top of the uh, people mover. That station is where it used to be, right? Well, well, back then, but right now it's Galactic Grill. It used to be on top of that. Or yeah, people mover on top of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Michelle says, if three is a crowd, then what is 285? <laughs> a party. <laughs> it's a party night. Uh, Michelle says, teacup ride is magic, magic, magic at night. Love those lanterns. Frankie Sprite says, wonder what the future is for Tomorrowland. I don't know, but it, it desperately needs some refurb, a little freshening to bring it back to, to life. Not that it's horrible, but it would be nice to, to zhuzh it up a little bit. Ah, Cassandra singing. Liz says, do you spot Jingles right there? Jingles is right there. There it is. You see all those bells? She lands in the same spot every time. Look at even from the wallpaper as we talk about details. The ceiling, the books. The, the wooden. I'm not gonna call them gar. I'm not gonna call them gargoyles. <laughs> What happened? Oh, she hurt? We on your camera are joking. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought she, I thought she hurt. I believe that huh? Cody is going to make people feel better. Other people thought it was so. Enjoy your safety. Did she hurt? Please remain seated. Oh, yeah, they hurt your hands when she says it. Oh, oh. Please don't get it all explained. Okay. And do supervise your children. Have a jolly good ride. Well, that was nice. We had another guest here apologize for the rude person. <laughs> that they didn't even have anything to do with. Dee says, it's going to be interesting and exciting to see how the expansion of Disneyland will be. Yeah, they just approved that. The City of Anaheim. Yeah, City of Anaheim just approved that yesterday. So basically, I think it equated about $1.3 billion per year for the next 10 years for theme parks. If you put that in perspective, that would be more than building a new Galaxy's Edge every year for the next 10 years. They can technically do a lot. And yeah. they had a separate budget for maintenance as well. Yeah. For tech and maintenance. So I'm assuming that includes stuff for the parks as well. Yeah. But they can do a lot. We'll see what they actually do. Watch your children and do try to drive on every the Gross. Bienvenido a Hulk Hulk. Para su seguridad, por favor permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del vehículo. Y por favor, cuide a los pequeños. Esperamos que disfrute del paseo. Michelle says, love the road heads. Yeah, just everything in here. Like, I don't know if that's real wood and if it's carved or, or what. <laughs> But it looks expensive. <laughs> I believe that Chloe is pitching a good calm down. To ensure your safety while moving, please remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside. 
and Liz says, those that mean Christ is will increase. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's why they opened up for more magic keys to help fund. <laughs> it's, it's a fundraising campaign. Yeah, the magic keys are still available too. That's the crazy part. Welcome to Toad Hall. To ensure a safe and glorious drive in your car, remain firmly seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside. Watch your children and do try to drive your vehicle in We can't fit in the same we car. <laughs> I, I think we, we probably could. Yeah, we probably could. <laughs> D says, and Star Wars After Dark event tickets still available too. Yeah, I'm surprised those tickets are still available, actually. I believe that Moby is fetching your motor car now. To enjoy your safety, I'm going Please remain seated with your hands. Uh, West Coast Resell says the Planning Commission approved it to be put on the agenda for the City Council to approve in April, so it still has hurdles to clear. Saw that girl in there in hell. She's right behind us. So? Oh. <laughs> I think she got stuck in hell. Well, I know a lot of people probably didn't catch everything that happened. <laughs> I didn't catch anything. I'm walking in, you're like, excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> I'll explain here in just a minute. We'll pull off to the side and I'll explain what happened. Sandra G says, This is where the glasses fog up. Right here. Or, or do we? Want to talk about. Oh, like, should, let me just explain. All right. I, think it just, I just want to explain because I. So, so obviously we're getting in line for Mr. Toad's. We're walking by, and this girl that's in the line ahead of us literally looks at me and goes, "Stupid streamers!" And I was like, "Excuse me." <laughs> now, first of all, I'm not used to being called stupid, but let alone you're going to call my wife stupid. I was, "Excuse me." Do you say she goes, "Yes, I did." And I was like, "Really? We haven't done anything to you." And then I kept walking on. And then I realized that she. 
obviously unhappy with us, she, but she doesn't know us, she doesn't know me, she doesn't know Marina. We try to go our ways, we don't want to ever, ever want to ruin anybody's time here. So we wait till, I wait until we get up next to her, and I said, you know, I'm sorry if I snap when you said that. I said, we go out of our way not to bother anybody. We do, we go out of way. Funny goes, yeah, but she just pointed me out. I said, well, you did just call us both stupid. So, yeah, that's, that's what happened. So, so we she go out of her way, you don't know anything. So she, she thinks... She thinks it's okay to say things to people and who not, didn't do anything to her. But then when you yeah. when you show the person, that's like, what she's upset about. And I literally expected <laughs> after that interaction okay. to be like, okay. okay, well, I didn't know or something. Okay. But nope, she was holding her ground and she was there with, I think, with her mother and somebody else. But then as we were walking through, there was another couple of mine that were next to them. Yeah. Comes over and we're standing there. She goes, you're not filming us, are you? And she's kind of smiling. I go, no. He goes, she goes, no, I know that was so stupid. There was her and her husband laughing, and they had two little babies, and they were totally fine. We're not trying to. Just <laughs> no, but it's it's just, it's you comical know, to me I think I that go, they feel that they can say whatever they want to say, but then when you're like, okay, this is who this is who just said this to me, then they get upset. I just, you know, there's I try no to reason. Be nice to people, right? <laughs> there's no reason. I think I think I think we're both really nice. Yeah, look at I, I think hi. I'm, Look at, see? Hi! Those are the kind of people we like. And you know what? That's People are going to have their opinion of, w of what we do, and people like what we do. But you don't, you don't need to say it. Like, your mother is there. No, no, your mother is there. You're there with your sister. Keep it, keep it to yourself. I think if anything... Say it to your mom. Say it to your sister. Yeah. Say it to your mom, say it to your sister, say it in your head, but the minute you attack us for not doing anything to you, and then we're supposed to just be like, okay, okay with it? No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to let somebody call you stupid. Well, I didn't do anything to her. No, nobody did anything to her. That's <laughs> nobody did anything to anybody. But she felt a, but she felt a need to attack us. And it would have been one thing if she would have said it to her mom or to her sister or said it to the air, but to say it to your face? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she said it to get a reaction off. Of course she did. And she got. Yeah, and then she got put I'm on blast and then she got mad. And she's younger than me, I believe, but still. I like, And she's there with her mother and I didn't realize that. And she should have known better. So I tried to apologize for snapping at her, but you just called me stupid. And she goes, well, and I was like, we try to go to, work. well, and then she just called me, yeah, because you just called her husband stupid, and you called me stupid. <laughs> what do you expect? You can't yeah. attack somebody and expect them not to do anything. We're talking about a downer. <laughs> what is this? Aaron Chavez. We love you. I'm proud to be a member of MOD and some of the most amazing, generous, kind, respectful people. If you're watching and I'm subscribing you. <laughs> Well, that's you. why I'm like I don't like because that's that's it. I'm coming down there. That's what he said. <laughs> it's a public place. She needs to go home now. All right, that's uh, Sandra well, G says you can choose to be bitter or beautiful. Choose the latter. Exactly. Yeah. It's like they say: if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Oh. It just irritates me. It, it doesn't know, bother me. It's we, off. We, it's off my back like water off but of a it's, it's hard for me because. I think I go out of my way to be nice and I give every single person the benefit of the doubt and to have somebody say something like that to me and to you, especially you, <laughs> it drives me crazy. That's all I can think of. She's honestly, okay. this all is right, why I didn't, I didn't want to talk about it because to I, be honest, she's, to get off my she's not worth our time. To get off my she's not worth our time or energy. She has a lovely okay, rest of the Okay, stop, <laughs> stop, enough. She's right. not worth the time or energy. <laughs> Alright, this place is going to be a very... <laughs> because I wanted to come to the popcorn cart. Oh. I want to show them. Oh, where are they going to sell them at? Yeah, it's at the popcorn cart. This place is going to be very busy come Tuesday morning. Yep. 
Queen J. So let's all take a breath and move forward. Exactly. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm done. I'm over. <laughs> So the newest and latest popcorn bucket will be over here. Oh, that's where you're taking it. Yes. I see now. Yes. I see you said the blind man. I see. D says, I'm not done. No, we're done. <laughs> So this popcorn cart is going to be crazy. Chris, when they're done, can you ask them if this is the cart? If this is where it's going to be? Yeah. That's what, it's, that's what it said in the, uh, the story. It would just be nice to have that uh, popcorn bucket sold throughout the, uh, the resort. Lucy loves you, so she's just upset with her personal life. Yeah, everybody pray for her. <laughs> Let's pray for her. Hi, Star Petal. So since it's Easter, is there more than rabbits out in the park? There's all kinds of things. There are ducks and mice and dogs. Right here. Right on here Tuesday. on Tuesday. Next, she just said next week. So this is it. This popcorn cart is going to be rope dropped. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm rope dropping. Oh, but you have made Toontown. that reservation for, Dis for Disneyland. Oh, we're at Disneyland. Yeah, we're we are at Disneyland. Disney. <laughs> you, thought we were... <laughs> you thought we were at DCA? No, I just had my <laughs> brain fried. <laughs> no, don't go back and see it. Nobody needs to see that. I'll probably chop it out. <laughs> Except, ex except her face. I'm gonna leave her face in there. <laughs> it's time to make our way towards the front of the park, babe. Is it time to make our way to the front? I think it's time. I think it's time. Time to feed our puppies. <laughs> Don't be fuming. I'm done. I'm over. Right. Thank you, everybody. Little people, little mind. That's what I'm gonna say. I like I said, I hope, I hope the best for her. <laughs> I told everybody to pray for her. Lord knows she needs it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, runaway railway. I was hungry. I See, was. oh my goodness, I cannot wait for the Chuby. I can't wait for the Chuby because it's gonna go, it's gonna go right next to where's my, where's my sign? It's gonna go next to this sign. <laughs> We have a Mickey and Minnie run Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway sign, and I'm gonna put this on a shelf, or well, right now it's hanging in my when I'm on the wall in my living room. But I'm gonna take that and my Chuby and maybe put it on a shelf. Have People a whole. Are asking if made new signs or not. Oh, we have a ton. We have a bunch. Let's see. Show the, uh... So we have these are the ones we have right now. Um, I have a slide with some others. So Haunted Mansion, Enchanted Tiki Room, Carousel of Progress, Cozy Cone, Tiana's Bayou, Splash Mountain. It, Splash Mountain comes in four different varieties. Uh, there's the, the Splash sign, the Splash with the characters. The, unfortunately, it does not come with the, the, the pennies. But if you have the pennies, we can put slots in it so you can have a place to display your pennies. Um, the Disneyland Welcome Sign, the Green Dragon, Pirates of the Caribbean, People Mover, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. We also have uh, Star Tours. We also have uh, 
I have a ton. Uh, where's Gaston? Oh. Gaston's Tavern. These are made out of all 100% wood. Not like you, what you'll find on. Oh yeah, I forgot about I that forgot one. about Figment. We have Can we Figment. Give that away? Uh, no, I still have Figment. We gave away Stitch. Oh, we gave away. Yeah, we gave a Stitch that went to Michelle. Actually, I still have it. I have to yeah. ship it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna ship it tomorrow. I promise. Show, uh, show the, the tiki signs. Um, the tiki room so signs. Show the, the surfboard one. Yeah, that one. And then show the birds. Okay, so th this tiki room sign is. I took this picture when it wasn't completed. It is completed now, but I'll tell you, the amount of time it takes to do these surfboards, um, we're not going to be offering it with the surfboards unless you're willing to pay an exorbitant amount of money because... So it took hours and hours and hours. It literally took me weeks to finish this piece. Uh, but I'll tell you, it's in my living room right now. It is stunning. It is my pride and joy, actually. Um, we also did, oh, how did this go that way? To go with the Enchanted Tiki Room sign, we now have the birds. We could make one for Shadow. Yeah, I could. <laughs> I told Michelle, I could see Shadow sitting in the middle of this one. Um, so I wanted to do a couple of different versions. I wanted to do the birds all sitting on one branch, so I had to design this as they sit on one branch. It took forever, but it's beautiful. It's a large piece, about 23 inches across. But then I also did them individually. So they're all sitting on their individual perches. The perches at the bottom have tiny little pieces. This, these take a little bit more time, a little bit more energy. But again, beautiful. Um, I think I covered them all. Cozy Con was covered? Uh, yeah, Cozy Con was, in the group was on the group one. Yeah. So we've, we've done a ton. Um, Jen says, can I commission a Lumiere? So we've actually, I, somebody else, Spooky asked if we do any commissions by chance. Yeah, we, um, we can do custom work. Um, do a popcorn cart. We've had people, I, I started working on a churro cart one, but not a popcorn cart one. Yeah, I think if, if you're commissioning one, I think the way it would work is you give us an idea of what you want. We would design something. Yeah, we would design something, and then if you approve it, then we would make it. Yeah, yeah. But for right now, that we have some other things in the works, but nothing is completed other than the signs that we showed you today. Now we're going to start playing with lights and signs. Oh gosh. Try to add some lights to the. We're room. expanding? Well, I think uh, after this weekend I'll try ordering some controllable lights, battery powered ones. Oh wow. Kitty Cat says, I love all the signs. They're fun to make. Uh, it takes a lot of time, a lot of patience. Uh, a lot of uh, scrap wood you end up making. Yeah, I make, a, I make a lot of scrap wood. I take beautiful pieces of wood, make it into a project, and then I have a lot of scrap wood that I, I uh, end up making things like this. Oh, the little magnets. Yes. Steamboat Willie magnets, very popular. Very, very popular. And those we make, if I have a decent sized piece of wood after making one of our signs, that's big enough to turn it into a, a magnet. Liz says, that little magnet is very cute and well made. Those are fun. Uh, Michelle says tiki pirate magnets. Oh no, <laughs> the tea, the reason why the tiki sign uh, parrot, the tiki bird or tiki room birds are as big as they are is because they have lots of little pieces and yeah. tiny little pieces like that. Um, very very hard to work with. Um, yeah, we have to 
cut them out, paint them, paint them yeah. and then put it together like a puzzle, and the smaller they are, things get burned up. Whenever you laser cut something, you lose a piece of the wood. It's like if you use a saw, the part that you're sawing out yeah. is now gone. So it's, it's called a kerf, a kerf cut. A kerf cut. And uh, yeah, so even though the laser is very, very fine, little pieces are hard and they burn up sometimes. So. Yeah. yeah. The smaller the sign, the more difficult. And I'll tell you, the ones that are on the perch, as as big as they are now, th those little tiny pieces at the uh, on their let me see if I can pull it up again. The little tiny pieces on their perch, like Jose. So you'll see this little tiny gold dot, and then like a gold band and a gold zigzag. Those are already already hard. <laughs> Because they cut so thin. Yeah, the, the most intricate sign that I ever tried making was Phantasma. And it was absolutely amazing, but there were so many tiny little pieces, and the wood got so thin, it was almost impossible to put together. I ended up throwing it away, even though I was probably 80% done with it. I probably could have helped you with that one. Right, the file's still on the computer. Yeah, I might I might try to help. Oh, we got Queen J. Ray Jen. What did she do? I don't know. Gifted memberships. Holy oh, smokes! Oh jeez, Queen Jera, you are way too kind. Jen, you gifted memberships to Clay, to Star Petal, Disney Fan 122, Comatose Rose, and Lauren. Oh my gosh! All right, guys. Yes, gold stars and hearts for Jen, Queen Jera. Golden Bachelor is asking what laser do we have? We do full wrap tumblers and sandwiches. So it's it's a it's a brand called Born V O V O I R N E. It's a Chinese company, but it's a it's a 60 watt, 600 millimeter by uh, 400 millimeter adjustable X Y and Z. It's got a Z bed on it. Yeah. It's nice. Oh, he said it's we, not like a thunder laser or anything. He said we do full wrap tumbler Stanleys. We quit doing signs. They take too long for us. Yeah, they, they take yeah, a long time. You have to cut them. Well, one, you have to design them. The design can take a long, long time. I'm learning. Um, cutting them, painting them, letting them dry completely. Yeah, that's the part that's hard because you, you're so I'm, impatient. Yeah, I'm... Especially when it's cold and exactly. damp outside. It takes forever. I don't like to wait. <laughs> and sometimes if you touch a piece and the paint is not exactly dry as it should be, you've ruined a piece. So, it, yeah. And I'll tell you, the people on Etsy that do these things... Please, 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 your craft is worth time, money. It's not a race to the bottom. It's not a race to the bottom for price point. Because in the end, you're killing yourself, you're going to burn out, and you're going to end up not enjoying what you do. I've learned that over the years of things that I've tried. Um, Make a quality product, you can charge it exactly. Exactly, but we don't even make signs to actually sell them. No, we, we make them because we like them. And if somebody donates, we, we give them away. We give them away just in general. Yeah, yeah. But now Marina has the bug. I do, She's I have got the, the bug. laser bug. And that's, she yeah. let me use it. No, I see, <laughs> I see certain signs that I just I'm like wow that would be beautiful and then I I have to think of how much time just to design it um, it takes a long time <laughs> it takes a long time to design a piece and then you don't realize if you designed it right until you actually cut it out and make it and then you're like oh, yeah, oh. or you go to put it together you're like that's not gonna work yeah I know Hello from Iowa, Mary Kay. Iowa. Welcome in. I used to go to Yonkers, get myself some candy at the bottom basement in, in, in Iowa. <laughs> the bottom basement in, in Iowa. Is that what it was called? Yonkers, yeah. Hi, Small World Life. 
we are having a good night. It's a date night for us. We had some great food today. We were able to get on a couple of rides tonight over at Fantasyland. This is kind of a surprise live. Usually this would have just been a, a Disney day for us or Disney night. But we decided to bring you guys along, do a little giveaway. Eat a little food. Eat a little food, ride. yeah. It's been fun. <laughs> We're not letting go of our Betty. Folks here are waiting for, fa not fantastic, for um, Mickey's, Mixed Mickey's Mixed Magic, which is going to be in just 10, a little over 10 minutes, I think. And you already have your ears on, so we don't have to I do. I'm already wearing my ears, too. You are wearing your ears? Yeah. Oh. Wearing my head. Well, one isn't working quite no, my left as one's well as it good. should be. <laughs> this is true. Chris found out today, for those of you joining us late, that one of his ears has a little bit of a... A little hearing loss to it. A little hearing loss. He punctured. 3.5K to 6K. Yeah. And, well, that's mild. And then mild to severe <laughs> at around 8K. And that's no fun. No. He, uh, he punctured an eardrum several years ago. And I guess it's scar tissue severe. from that kind of keeps, keeps him from hearing as well as he can. I was afraid I just couldn't hear Marina anymore. <laughs> you just didn't want to. It's not what it is. No. Uh, Clay says, thank you for letting us crash your date night. No worries. Um, well, there were some funny stories today. We were talking about how people get hearing loss. Let's, let's stand over here. They asked if I shot guns. If I if do you this. If I do you've this you've done all of that. And the crazy part is, is that... Uh, Are we one, staying for Mickey's? No. One of the crazy things was, is that she said she had somebody came in and the person was a clown for a living. A, and, oh, the horn, right? No, popping balloons. Oh, popping, popping balloons. balloons constantly actually eventually altered the hearing. And that's what it was over years and years and years of doing it. Sandy Cheek says, I guess it's not selective hearing, Marina. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said it was, by the way. Well, the selective hearing sometimes works on his end and on mine. Sometimes. Sometimes. Oh. <laughs> like when he says, don't buy that spirit jersey. <laughs> what? What? Don't. That's for the eggs. That's for the Easter egg hunt. Oh, okay. I didn't know what it was. I wasn't here yesterday. <laughs> That's for the Easter egg. Here, where are you going? Oh, Michelle says, could we please visit the magic shop? We, oh, haven't, sure. we haven't been to the magic yeah, shop in forever. I just want to leave before Mixed Magic starts. And then everybody leaves right after. Yeah, after the Mixed Magic. The tram situation is we got five minutes to is crazy. But let's go check out the magic shop. <laughs> Michelle Lynn says, Michelle wants to go see the magic shop. <laughs> Dee says, did you guys check out the new pins? We did. We did. We did. Here's the magic shop. Are they, is he going to do any magic for us? Yeah. Do you have any, you have any tips? Any singles? Oh, there's this thing. Look, remember? Yeah. Oh, we have these. We do have some of those. And we gave some of these away, too, I think. The Mandalorian Star Wars playing cards. Are you good? Look at Ariel on a card. How cute. They have a yeah, Avengers cards. Black Panther cards. And of course, you have to have red noses, sponge noses. So they have all kinds of magic tricks here. Gambler's Mark deck, Spirit Lights, UFO cards, the amazing sponge balls, Gambler's Mark deck, Chaos Cues, some books. I know. I think so. I think you're supposed to put your your coin there, and it he makes it disappear. 
like they would say in the, the Enchanted Tiki Room. Ach du Liebe! <laughs> oh, look at that. Michelle says, ah, oh, but they are cards magic. Yeah. Oh, look at they have the 40 year go round from Japan. I know. Uh oh. Is he doing some magic over here? Um, take this. We're gonna try to unlink them now. It's kind of like a chain, but chains are about as strong as their weakest link. So that's why I personally don't use this for anything but decoration. Now, um, this one, you can kind of take it, you can melt it off from here, right? Like that. You know, with, uh, with all these links, you think I'm saving Zelda or something, but you know. You're saving Zelda. <laughs> video game reference for anybody who isn't. <laughs> one more time, though. Um, take it, spin it. This is the part that I have trouble on because you know I'm not that coordinated. I think so. There we go. Whoa. Now watch. If you can't even spin it, this kind of charges it up. And then you just pause. For dramatic effect. Because when you do that, you can actually have it unlink entirely. Oh, wow. Oh. But again, uh, just one. Mm -hmm. You can take it to link and unlink. And one final thing I will leave you guys with. It will be um, this here. If I can do it properly. That would have been cool. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I'm sorry to hype it up, I'm sorry to hype it up, hold on. Now that oh, one actually getting me. What? No, you missed it. You sorry. missed it, bro? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, they have all kinds of magic tricks. And they'll show you, if you buy one, they'll show you how to use it. Oh, very cool. And books. Look, they have a book on Steve Martin. Yeah. Why is there a big magician. I never, I've never seen that. Um, Dee was asking about the pins. Dee, do you want to see the pins? To make it quick because we're about to have Mickey's Mixed Magic start. Uh, Liz says we'll have to stop there on our next visit. Yeah, let's uh, let me show you the pins real quick. We showed them from Westward Ho. No, uh, no, those aren't them. Where are they? Where are the new pins? Do you have the new pins from today that were released? No. Huh. There's like there's like eight. There's eight different pins. Hmm. I know. It's Tuesday, right? Yeah. It's. It's all those oh, the that shields on them. the shields, and then um, the Cheshire Cat one, Cheshire yeah, Cheshire Cat. Cheshire Cat. and then the Cheshire Cat. Oh, I'm out for sure, and the Mickey one. I'm out of like some, yeah, some sort. Okay. This is all I have left. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. They don't have them on display like they did over at Westward Ho. <laughs> Uh, Dee says, I can rewind, no worries. Yeah, we did it, D right after the parade. Yeah, but they have eight different ones. Uh, I think of the eight, there was like, what, six that had swords? Six of the shield ones, and then there was two other ones. Wasn't one of Brother Bear? Yeah, Brother Bear was one, and then... The Cheshire Cat. And then the uh, Six Shields. All right, let's head on out. Um, the lighting's always much better over here. We'll say goodbye in front of Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln. Yes. Good evening, friends. In just a few minutes, the lights will be here.
I don't know if the light's very good here. <laughs> I look a little yellow. Oh, the yellow lights. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to call it a night from here at the Disneyland Resort. It was an awesome date night. I'm really glad we were able to bring you with us. We, did, we weren't sure if we were going to, but it's always nice to, to hang out with friends. Thank you guys for your support. We really appreciate all of you who watch, subscribe, even our ninja watchers and our members. Thank you so much for all of your support, generosity, and kindness that you pay to this community. Uh, it's you guys, all of you guys, who make this community what it is. And we would be nothing without you. I will be back in the park on Monday. We will be here on Tuesday. Not sure if we're streaming. Pay attention to our community board. We'll let you yep. know if we are going to be streaming on uh, any time this weekend. But thanks again for a very fun stream. We had a fun night, some delicious food. Congratulations to all of our giveaway winners. Make sure to send us those emails. Remember, no exceptions if we don't get it in yep, time. Make sure you do. And what are the note? Steve Martin worked at that magic shop. Oh, he did? Yep, and he worked as an actor at the Birdcage Theater at Knott's. <laughs> that's, why, that's why the book of Steve Martin is. He worked in that magic show. Mr. Knowledge over here. No, what am I somebody say? in the chat put it in oh, there, not oh, me. Somebody oh. in the chat put it in there. Okay, well, thank you for that in the yes. chat. We appreciate that. I remember who it was. <laughs> who was it so I can thank them properly? <laughs> oh, my arm is dying here. Oh. It was Richard T. Reyes. Richard T. Reyes, thank you for that for nugget info. For that nugget of knowledge. Uh, it'll stay with me forever, I promise. Yes. <laughs> Trust me, she never forgets anything. I never forget a thing. So. All right, guys. All right. Have a good Bye one, everybody. and uh, we'll see you on the next one, on the next episode of The, the Walker, Walker Chronicles. Chronicles. Bye, Bye guys. everybody. Mwah. See ya. Hi. Where are you from? Oh, um.